Hello and welcome to Rookie Gamers. I'm David, your host, and this is Rookie Gamer. We have our standard crew today. We got uh, Brandon back from last game. Awesome. Uh, playing Morven Wraith. Uh, we're just going to go over what happened last game, uh, kind of a little bit of a recap. Uh, the group has made its way through Colorado to the town of Desperation, which is uh, uh, probably about 10 miles from from their destination, their actual destination of, of tracking down the source. Um, during that time, they, they ran into Brandon, who, or sorry, Morphin Wraith, who is a, a shifter, um, who ha has been hunting a particular demon that scarred his face horribly. In the process, he got tainted by by the demons. Um, however, due to circumstances, we're not sure why, or the group is not sure why yet, he, he, the, the, the taint did not transform Morphin Wraith into a Noctar. He was able to um, go years with having this creature kind of on him. Uh, the, the group decided that they were going to perform a ritual to remove the Noctar taint from Morphin Wraith who actually found out what an Octar is and that the demon that uh, he's been tracking for years is one of these horrible demons uh, that kind of ties him into the group uh, on his quest for revenge against the Noctar. I believe uh, the Noctar's name was, did I give you that name? I think you did, but I can't remember what it was. Milfred. Really yes, close to right. your name, actually. No, <laughs> it was kind of weird. Yes, no, no friend. friend. No that's friend. Right. Um, really similar. It's funny because that character, no friend, is actually probably fifteen years old <laughs> in my game, oh. uh, but it, it worked young. perfect. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so they decide to make a summoning circle or a, a cleansing circle, uh, the same one that they use a couple uh, games back to try to uh, relieve Jolene's character, uh, LaFlower, from the Noctar taint. However, they failed because they used a, a, an ingredient in the, uh, in the spell that ripped repelled them from even participating in in the ritual <laughs> because they Let's used learn. they used dragon's bane <laughs> and they're all like flooded of dragons so uh it kind of fucked up the ritual for them however this time they did not use that ingredient they used something else and they were able to cleanse morphin wraith of this uh noctar taint uh, in doing so oh. Uh, Lightfoot sacrificed a very expensive uh, gem that was given to her by Anakaza Zephyrin, who is a uh, an avatar of um, a, a deity of the Dragon Rite. Uh, that destroyed the gem, but uh, basically filled the scar on Morphin's face with this ruby and gold inlay. Um, so it looks pretty cool. Gave him some abilities, uh, but so now he's alive. Uh, the last thing uh, that happened, uh, because, sorry, uh, maybe I should explain the ritual. The ritual was going badly at first because Morphin Wraith was messing with it. He was trying to do a ritual. <laughs> he was trying to do a ritual within a ritual. Um, to, he wanted to contact the the god that they were using to heal him, but he wanted revenge. Yes, he wanted revenge too. But the Noctar was it was was actually able to link with um, with its master instead. <laughs> However, they uh, they using that gem, they were able to cut cut that off. Right. Um, but, so because he was messing with the ritual, Dr. Asclepius, at the very end of the last game, 
said, I claim you in the name of the Tosa as my slave. Well, it's better to be a slave than a taco. And uh, <laughs> slavery in this game isn't, isn't the same. For their, their church and their religion, uh, they, can get, they can gain their freedom. And the freedom, the, the price of freedom that was was uh, told to him, uh, Doctor Asclepius, can you tell what that was? It was um, he had to learn to appreciate um, others. Everyone in the group, everyone else. right? Yes. Everyone else in the group. Okay. Yeah, everyone in the group. Yeah. So we're gonna start there. The ritual uh, just ended. Um, Morphin, you just realized that you are, you have been claimed. Um, and you do feel some kind of mystical bond to Dr. Asclepius. Like, yeah, you feel that you are under a, uh, some kind of spell. Whether it be a curse or or whatnot. <laughs> Nukem. <laughs> Nukem, you were actually just coming up on this ritual and, and saw all this kind of take place and saw him claim. And that's right where we ended, where you were coming up and saying, um, I had it so, because you are a phase of the moon, each of the phases of the moon said, I, I recognize um, your claim. Yes, I would have to do that. Okay, and that you just, your character had just finished that. I was, I was playing you because you were, you were missing an action. Yeah. But we're going to open up with that, okay, guys? Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're all kind of in stunned silence. Yeah, there's um, all kinds of a, a, a stunned silence. Um, Rowan, the, uh, I'll play. I'll play Rowan right now. Okay, you're playing Rowan. Yeah, Rowan. I'm still here. I'm just walking around to fix it. Go ahead and play. Marfran, <laughs> do you understand what this means for you? Absolutely. The name slave isn't quite accurate. Dr. Sclepius was right. Everything that you own is now his that he will let you borrow. You are not to be beaten. You are not to be hurt. Mistreated. Mistreated. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. You are not to be mistreated. Of course, you know. Unless you do something really stupid. Or your mouth runs off with you. <laughs> yeah, if you betray us, oh, you're going to be me. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> but I'm sure there's no reason for you to betray us at this point. It sounds like you oh. are searching for something as well. This, uh, demon, he's knocked. Noctar, yes. Noctar, yes. You're looking to destroy them as well, right? Yep. Yes. 
all of them. Have you heard of one named No Friend by any chance? You? Your name? No, have you? Roll a perception. Oh? We don't normally give our Noctar names. Right. That's why he has to roll a perception. So oh, somebody in the group does know that name. Okay. Where is my perception? <laughs> Actually, you guys all could. I guess it would be more like a like a D and D I'm running through all the stuff you don't remember. No, none of, none of you remember that name. It's an name. Yeah. What'd you yeah, get? I, I, 20, and that 20 plus 2. You um, see that for a second, Michael Sia's um, eyes deceive him. Mm. And you kind of see his eyes kind of go wide a little bit. He doesn't say anything. I'm just going to, like, glance towards him and just nod. But not nothing else. Like, the, a barely perceptible nod, so... Okay. Um, he, uh... You can see he acknowledges that. As long as you're willing to destroy these demons, I'm willing to assist. Oh, God! There are okay. some of those Noctar that we cannot kill. What? There are a few uh, that our God will not allow us to kill. And you all know this. Mm -hmm. I remember. They are referred to as the true Noctar. Yeah. We, we, yes, I know. We know. It's, no it's, friend it's, is one of these. Well, throw a wrench into this day. Thanks. I haven't heard that name in a while. So you mean he can't get his revenge? I didn't say he can't get his revenge. But we cannot kill according to your first conclave law. <clears throat> However, that does leave a lot of uh, leeway. It does. Indeed, it, it does. Well, I know how we can fix this. <laughs> <clears throat> Turn him into a testivore. Oh. No. No. That, <laughs> that doesn't kill him. <laughs> I have no love for this creature. I've never met him, so. So, like, I wasn't around for this first conclave because, well, you know, I'm just here now. But I would assume if we form a conclave, we can possibly petition, edit, draft rules that need to be drafted. Unless there's something, unless there's something that says we can't. That I don't know about. Mm. Would have been a great time for the lawyer. Yes. Perhaps we should, after, if you guys want to form a con, we should seek out the lawyer to see if we could change that. Oh, yeah. For sure. His name is Spartacus. Oh. oh, yeah. I know who that is. Different than the Spartan. Different Spartan? Yes. Ah, okay. Cool. Spartacus is <coughs> different. All right. Well. So, Mr. Morphin, looks like you are free of your taint. What? Indeed. Free of the connection to the Noctar. 
Have you not seen a mirror? You, you should look at a mirror. A mirror? Oh dear. I'm a little jealous, actually. It's, it's... Don't you have a makeup mirror in your show? I do have, I do have a pocket mirror. Oh, you do? You, yes. So you pull out your pocket mirror and you look and you see this like sparkling ruby uh, claw mark in your face with some gold inlay in it. It actually looks quite refreshing compared to it what lot, you had. A lot better than, yeah, a lot better than it was. <laughs> is, is this what I've always looked like? No. What? Have you never what, what, seen what yourself you in the mirror? You've never you looked in the not, mirror? Have you not looked in this, at yourself in the mirror since you were injured? I ran. I ran long and hard. Apparently, well, bathrooms weren't in his... Uh, no. Or at least or mirrors. mirrors. Mirrors, right. Huh. But but what what, what is what is this? this? It it replaces what was there previously, which was horrifying. <laughs> was the taint? The taint. The, the oily scar that didn't heal. And you're telling me that my face has been like this this whole time? No, after the ritual, it's been like that. After it's the nice ritual, now. <laughs> you have the ruby and gold. Before the ritual, your face was just something. Something horrible looking. Something you wouldn't want. You. Something yeah. you wouldn't want to hold close to a candle. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I can imagine it. This still feels like it's kind of a shock. Well then it's it's a good thing you didn't look at yourself earlier. I'll take your word for it. Um, yes. Please do. <laughs> a horrible screeching breaks the night, the silence of the night. Oh. Off in the distance. It must be miles away. A wretched screeching occurs. Sounds familiar. It well, sounds familiar. Oh no. What is it this time? We aren't going to get any sleep tonight, are we? It sounds like the minions. Uh -oh. Oh, the of the flowers. It's, oh lord. It's doubtful. Oh god. Uh we should probably gather the rest and get out of here yeah. before they catch up. Yeah. It, it may be dark, but yeah, you're right. We should move on. Yeah. We should get, How cold get is clear. it? Remember, there is a, where you're at is about six inches to a foot of snow, but if you go any further west, the snow gets very deep, very fast. You guys took your um, dune buggy through the snow and got caught only about a half a mile away. So we were going west. And to go west brings us closer to where we need to be. Yeah. Right. Um, so, when you so we've were, got to go west. When you were, when the car was trapped, you guys had gone, uh, walked, a couple of you had walked up this little snow hill, and from there you were able to see what looked like an old um, airport control tower um, off in the distance, maybe five miles off. Question. Mm -hmm. Yes. How long? Is, how long has it been since the battle? Since the battle, it has been <laughs> roughly an hour. So the huskies still have about four hours. So we could sled over. Oh, that's still how, a possibility. How much does the? Where they disperse. The car okay. How much does the car weigh? The car. The, the dune buggy? Yeah. It's just, uh, probably like 1,600 pounds or more. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just an engine, a frame, and wheels. Oh. Just tire roll. And it's then tight. people. Um, just tire roll. Uh, just drag it there. It's the Huskies. <laughs> it's the Huskies. Yeah. Um, okay, so, um, being as I'm 
missed last week. Um, as the flowers minions chasing us still. That is gonna show up on the yeah, switch. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot. And it's on. and it's drowning out my sound, my my yeah. hearing. <laughs> Um, LaFlower's minions, that's what you just heard. Okay. Off in the distance, the screeching. Well, there's, there's a couple thousand of them, probably. If not more. Yeah. But I remember mean, how small they were, most of them? So they are probably having a hard time ow, through that ow, snow, ow, too, says Michael C. So, Damn it! We got two go lay down! I, have, I, I do have an idea. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna try and make a path with fireball. So you're gonna cast a fireball. Uh, what level are you? Eight. Eight. Like fireball. Well, I know if there's nothing out there except for snow. Okay. Right? So you're trying to melt the snow. Yes. All right. Just try to make a, a path. Okay. Um. So you cast Fireball. What is that spell called? Like in your Latin that you're supposed to say it in? Otherwise you can't cast. Um. <laughs> Remember, you're a player self character, and that's how you choose to do magic. You have to be able to cast it. Motherfucker. Okay, Wait, you, you know you don't have that book. Uh huh. You don't have that book in game. I'm not looking for that book in game. I have my character sheet. <laughs> Huh? No, it's it's like infinite in infinite. So remember, she it. uses Harry Potter Potter spells. That's right. I because think. that's how her character, her play yourself character, believes magic is working. That's right. For her. <laughs> and it's a spell I have used. You've used Fireball. I've used Fireball too. Mm. I don't. I, re I don't recall that. But yeah. that's probably well, it. We, we have, we have yeah. two options. You do have your Harry Potter, that purple book with the spells in it, remember? That, you said I didn't have that. You have that one. Well, let me go get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys can. Okay. Um, there's, 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 there's two ways we can deal with this. We can, uh, we're in a town, right? As you do that, she casts, I'm just going to say she casts Fireball, because she's okay. going to go look up the name of it, because she has that little book with her. Um, it does clear a path, um, uh, but as you know, how the fireball strikes it, it doesn't just melt the snow. It, it turns it to water, but it's so cold that the water just freezes, and, <coughs> and there's just like this icy path that goes for about 300 feet. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I'm sitting here talking to Michael C. and everybody else. Well, there's, there's two ways we can handle this. We can, we can try to run. Or we could just kill them all. Well, killing them all will be kind of hard. Um, because it seems like LaFlower was a pretty powerful one. But, I mean, I don't know. I've never fought him, so. Well, yeah. Um, I'm not was really talking about killing LaFlower. Yes, <laughs> you know. Oh. Uh, well, I'm. She may be. She she may have mobility, but I doubt she's as fast as these little critters. Are we talking about stopping and trying to save her or something? What do we? What well, are we doing? No, I was just, I was just saying options. We could either try to run, or we can kill them all. I don't think we can kill them all. Running. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good option. We're going to have a hard time traveling in the snow. Correct. Unless yep. we go back the way we came. So and that's just going to be a waste of yes. days. Did so my spell go off? Yes, yeah. I already described it. Oh, okay. And it didn't do anything? It did. It, it cleared a 300-foot path, but fire turns ice into water and vapor. But it, uh, it just kind of made this icy path that's 300 feet long because it's, it's so cold. Go it away. It just froze right over as it fell. Bobsled, man, let's go. Um, Uphill. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Well, um, for 
from the sound of the distance, can I guesstimate how far away they are? Go ahead and roll a perception. Sounded, it was a loud sound, but it sounded way off in the distance um, to your north. Uh, probably five, six miles off. Wouldn't just that, like wouldn't, that. Wouldn't that be from the south then? Hmm? So it's from the north. That's the, not the direction the fire was coming from. The fire? The flower. The we, we, we were moving south to north. You were you were new. That actually, you were moving um, east to west. So you went east to west, and then you went southwest from from where you went from Denver. You were you were okay. So that would make the sound coming yes. from north. Um, okay, so it, we're gonna say it's a good distance away. So. I'm going to guesstimate that we're going to have at least one full day to prepare. Yeah, remember the ceremony happened at three thirty-three in the morning, so the 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 it's about what five o'clock now, and you guys have been talking. You do see the the, the sky is starting to get a little bit lighter. So is this is this okay? This is a village village, right? There's people live here. No, um, it's a uh, frozen over town. Um, you guys found when you came through, there is thick ice on the ground where you actually saw frozen people, like under. Mm -hmm. There was a battle, and it like water or some kind of it just froze over all these people, and you you saw coalition soldiers like frozen in the ice. Oh wow! Um. So we didn't explore the town. Mm -mm. We really. Didn't. You haven't done much exploring. Uh, you've made camp inside of a casino, an old casino. There is, in the um, western half of the casino, part of the roof has collapsed in, and part of the wall has fallen out, and that's how you got your vehicles into it. Okay. Uh, so your vehicles are, like, parked on the casino floor, and you guys have been staying in some of the rooms that don't have caves in. Cool, cool. I understand that. Um, <clears throat> well, like, like I said, I, I honestly don't think running is feasible in the condition we're at and where we're at. So, um, if we prepare well enough, I think we can either slow them down in the future or kill enough of them that they'll, they'll lose some morale and go away. My CEO looks at you and says, that's the sound... Perhaps we should find a defensible area. Yes, find a defensible area and then make sure that wherever they step is pure death. <coughs> They're probably not traveling at night. Or, sorry, during the day. Correct. So, we've at, least, we've, at least got this, we've at least got this day and maybe tomorrow. So, I'm going to say two full days till tomorrow night. <coughs> For two full day times... One night, so at least what 24, 36 hours. Yeah. So I figure we got at least 36 hours to put up a reasonable defense. Which, with what I just seen from this fireball, might be quite feasible. Because running on snow is one thing. Running on ice is something completely different. Yeah, that snow's pretty powdery too, so... So if we make a nice field of sheet ice from where they're coming at, and we put enough death there, I think we, I think we stand a good chance from a defensible position. I but agree. Preparation will increase I, I'm gonna our chances. Say it, I'm going to say it's, but it's a group... 
decision. I will follow what the group decides as a whole consensus. <clears throat> but that's my uh, that will be that's my suggestion because I've got seventeen grenades um, and enough diesel to make a really big field of death. We just need to make a quick reconnoiter of the area and see if there's anything else we can use or and to actually find a better defensible position than we're at. Right. Hey, Kaylee, you said that there's no sewers. You you were able to see that there's no sewers around here? She's on the radio. She's listening. Um, yeah, I haven't, uh, oh, under the casino, there's, there doesn't seem to be the sewer canals. However, to the um, the northern set center of the uh, city, there is uh, Scott. You know the the northern part of the city is actually where that that uh, general store is. Mm -hmm. Yep. But there's not much of a. I don't think this town. She looks around. I don't think this town was. Like a previous town. It doesn't look like the other ones we've traveled in. Oh, and that means we might actually find ordinance. Mm. Ah. Um, I believe we send out battle buddies and search. Is splitting up the group a very good idea, though? Oh, well, then let's do it all together then. Well, I mean, if we're splitting up but we're staying in town, we're not going. This uh, town isn't the biggest town. We yeah. have radios. Yeah. Battle yeah. Buddies is appropriate. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. It's 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 not very big at all. Yeah, but Nazareth, we're not we're not going out. Everybody, this if if anything is weird, use the radio <laughs> right away. Like don't don't wait to don't say oh wait I want to explore this first. Let us know so you don't Die. end up dead. <laughs> you guys have an extra radio that Nolan can have. Um. We should. Yes. Well, Are you talking to yourself in third person? Yes. <laughs> yeah. we, have, we have a radio for you. <laughs> we do have a radio for Jolene. Yeah. What about, um, it, it's, what about uh, for Morphin? It, it's I don't have a radio, this but is, I'm, I'm going to take a... a this I actually have a slice. butterfly. It's a black butterfly. I don't know that it's that's familiar. Her. No, but I, I know that. Person. But it's in the bag. This, this, this Trixie slash... Oh, it's, it's we still just, have Trixie stuff. Oh, that's right. We, <laughs> you have Trixie it, stuff and you have... Yes, her last flowers. character. Yeah. Oh, we have all her stuff. Yeah, yeah, we need all the stuff off your last character. It's <laughs> in it's in like a burlap sack and it's just crossed out of the names. <laughs> it's what it is. Jolene's character bag. It's, just, it's, it's, it's uh, Trixie and then the Amazon chick, the flower, and then... Yep. Uh, this is meta. It's meta. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> Boy, she's got a lot of good stuff. Um, sure, we could probably find something. Uh, Michael goes and uh, looks in the, the bag. Go dust her off the radio. Um, takes uh, the the flak jacket with the radio connected to it and brings it to you. Here you go. Um, there's some armor on there, um, except it's uh, it's not quite your size. <laughs> um, what size is Jolene? Like Jolene? Is it, what's her name? Jolene. Okay, wow. Well, I, I wasn't. So that's it's. You it's were Jolene. Here it's Jolene. Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to have somebody stick an armor vip in or something on her. I have so, armor vip on spell. Oh. I can well, do that. There you well, go. Isn't that handy? Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh I, 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 you can already I cast. Can, oh, yeah. I can, I can create energy fields around myself if I need to. Very nice. Cool. All right. Well, I was about to say I had, we have an extra set of armor in the the wagon, so I but, can find somewhere yeah, dark. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was getting at. Well, but I didn't know. So. Without um, adjustments. 
So. What was that? Morphin said something. Sorry, Morphin, you did not hear you. Oh, yes. Um, also, if we could find some place dark, I would be able to hide myself, which would be much more effective than armor. To attack unseen is strategically a lot more. It makes a True. lot more sense. Anyway. We should. That also makes makes sense. We could have people... Ha um, However... Shouldn't he ask? Dr. It is Genius? true. If that's all right with Doctor Asclepius. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my a dead Michael out. C was just talking. Okay, <laughs> yeah. he's just like, oh yeah, he's just oh, like, yeah, yeah, that's right, <laughs> that's right. He's been enslaved. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Shouldn't we say silence, slave? Silence. You are not to talk unless asked to. <laughs> Like, as he says in a joking manner. <laughs> it's just like, uh, um, <laughs> I just, I don't I know. I go, uh, um, well, first thing If first. I may, Dr. Sclepius, it might yes. be wise for us to, uh, create ritual circles to, uh, if we're going to create a fortified point, it would be best for the magic users to, you know, strengthen us and perhaps even protect us um, more effectively. I agree a thousand percent. <laughs> yes. Michael sees it. Hey, we have two snipers too. Mm -hmm. uh, the juicer. What's his name? Uh, John Wilson. John Wilson. John Wilson. And <laughs> your buddy. Blanchard. Blanchard. Yeah. We should have, we should find two sniper locations for them. Cool. We should have the glitter boy buried in snow somewhere. Only radar out. <laughs> that's dirty is what that is that's just dirty um I like that um uh holler at Jorge I go get my bag take out the two pieces of clothing I have in my bag okay and tell him here you go hey, I need you to make what's going on I need you to make armor for my little friend oh the cat no. Well, yes. Actually, both. <laughs> the cat and the rat. Oh, the rat man. It's like, oh, uh, little, little rat man. I would like him to look like a ninja. Hey, my friend, um, you know that Mr. Wilson, he, he keeps, like, eyeing your friend. In case we were going to put armor on him. <laughs> All right. So, here's here's a dragon track suit. <laughs> oh, the uh, dragon track <laughs> MDC. <laughs> 8 MDC uh, armor uh, tracksuit, uh, shirt or hoodie and sweatpants to make oh. armor for said Kiki and said rat. Uh, we also got some, I got some scrap MDC material too. I can probably try to snipe with some. Do you have any, um, uh, gem? I need some gems and I can put armor this hand in. I don't have any gems. Yeah. But Maybe there's something in this crystal. town along with some bodies. Oh, we'll hunt for some crystals. All right. Cool. cool. I need a probably uh, at least 10 carrots. Okay. We'll see what we can find. Of, of diamond, maybe. Oh, yellow diamond works best. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can find. All right. <coughs> um. So, I guess we go our battle buddies, which is... Yeah, battle buddies. Me and. Was it you and Lightfoot? Where is Lightfoot? No, now? actually. Is there? It, it was at the time. It was me and Sclepius. Oh. Yes. So the Sclepius boys, and then uh, um, Rowan and. Do you guys remember your battle buddies? Uh, yeah, I, actually, I think you're, I'm Rowan's battle buddy. Okay, and who is Michael Sia was um, Kaylee. Kaylee Blanchard's were Carter, Carter, and, and James. And James. Uh, so those are all NPCs. Yeah. Uh, so Marfin needs a battle buddy. He does. <laughs> I think I think Jolene needs a battle buddy too. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. We're back together again. Yeah. 
baby. So Jolene and Marfan are battle buddies. All right, we'll go up and search the town. Okay. Um, so we'll do... Um, you first with your battle buddy. Uh, well... Dr. Stepius. Um, there was mention of a general store. Yes. In general conversation. I believe that's probably a place we should check out. Okay. All right. So you guys head off to the general store. Um, uh, I would like to leave my uh, my butterfly with Dr. Sclepius so he can contact me if he needs it. Your butterfly? Yes, it's my familiar. I, <laughs> you may not have heard, but I would have brought it out. I did not know you had a butterfly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> we put a fly. Yeah. Oh. You, you have oh, a yeah. butterfly familiar in the snow. That's oh. it's, it's frozen. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Come on, cat. Get out of the way. Go over I'll there. Stick it in my <laughs> pocket. <laughs> You're all good. That's Eva, small enough. And I shall thing. stretch. And I shall stretch. Yes. In the finest. We moved him from his place. Who was uh, Nazareth's animal? Um, I don't recall who Nazareth's battle uh, buddy is. I re- it right was, uh, oh, Jackie. Jackie. Jackie Valentine. Jackie Valentine was Nazareth's battle buddy, but Jackie is not. So really. that'll be Nynaeve. Yeah. Or Raylican. Raylican and Nynaeve are always battle buddies. <sighs> That's trouble. Um, well, it, oh, I got an idea. What? We can both be battle buddies with Nazareth. Do you remember who you will summon for? Did he have one? Wilson, Wilson I don't buddy. think, was with us when we needed battle no. buddies. Mm-hmm. Raylikin's like, I'll be your battle buddy, Mr. Wilson. He, he, oh, thank you, Raylikin. He was not uh, He was not with us when we did battle buddies at the right. time, remember? No. That's right. So... Yep, Raylikin will be your battle buddy, and Nynaeve will be Nazareth's battle buddy. Cool. All right. Raylikin didn't want to be my battle buddy. We can always talk through telepathy, so we can coordinate with each other. We will be a a team to be reckoned with. Yeah, but you you didn't want to sit with me. I'm not talking to you. Good. Good. I don't like you anyway. I never liked you. You always smell of cheese. Mm, like your mother. We had the same mother. Um, are you sure? I think my mother was prettier than yours. She always smells of death cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Flamunda. <laughs> Blue cheese. Oh. <laughs> All right, so okay. we go check out the general store. There are several buildings in the area. There's, as you walk to the general store, <clears throat> you can see there's clothing shops. There's all kinds of other shops as you go to the general store. What kind of shops? Clothing shop. Clothing. There's a barber shop. Okay. There is a um, uh, blacksmith shop. There's. Uh, it, remember, this town is kind of reminds you of like a steampunk western town. Like it was thrown up. Yeah. Like, hey, we brought this stuff in. It's yeah. This is a necessity. We're going to build this and make this. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. And um, there's a couple large hotels. Um, there, each of those hotels have a, a, a bar below them. Um, you think there's a, a hotel which looks more like it was probably a brothel. Uh, the sign got blown off of it. It's, it was a neon sign, and it says something, and then some letters that ended in brothel. Okay. But, um, cool. Again, you see as you walk, you see there are people. Um, it looks like a, a, a small child and a woman that were huddling, and they are just frozen in ice up against the wall of the brothel as you're walking yeah, and it has that old, you know, the old wooden platforms out in the front of the, uh, for the sidewalks. Yeah. Um, and they're just frozen on there. Oh, that's not normal. 
No. That's 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 suspicious right there. Um does it look like they're frozen to the wall, like something blasted them to the wall, pinned them there and just froze them? Like the whole like the town got flash frozen. I smell magic. <laughs> <laughs> you are there's a ley line oh, right there. Oh okay. You are within a ley line. Awesome. On one side of the ley line is is this town. And the snow is much is only about a foot deep. On the other side of the ley line, the snow is minimum six feet deep. And then to probably fifteen to twenty feet. You you're not really sure. There's freak, huge snow drifts. Freak ley line explosion or ley line storm. It caused all of this. Uh-huh. Um, cool. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, any surges in power floating around that we need to kind of pay attention to. So about every um, 29 minutes, there is a ley line surge. 29 minutes? Yes. Um, Seems pretty consistent as far as power level goes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, it, it, I keep I keep notice of it to make sure that you know nothing super crazy happens. Okay. So if something kind of spikes or it's like whoa. All right. I, and I pull out the old and start making a timer so I know what's twenty nine minutes. Okay. Every 29 minutes, beep beep. All right. Yeah. Make sure to keep track of it. Okay, it's almost exactly. Yeah, it was, well, if it, if it starts coming in at 20 minutes, I'm going to start getting more. You've been, you've been tracking that ever since um, you've gotten here. Okay. Which has been almost a, di- a half a day. Okay, good. Um, and so you guys walk to the general store, you and uh, Dr. Asclepius. Uh, the door uh, is hard to uh, push back open overnight. There was some more freezing, um, but you, you get the door open. Uh, this, uh, do you have supernatural strength, Asclepius? No. Nope. Oh. Um, you guys actually have to come up with a way to open the door then. Uh oh. Um, is it wood? It is wood and iron with iron fasteners. But so there's a thin layer of ice over it. Well, I pull out, well, my, it, it, my, pull it, out my can it, bags. It should be it should be open because I was here last week or yesterday earlier in the day. I thought you checking. closed it. I did. Right, you closed the door. But it refroze. Right, but, and it refroze. Oh. Yeah. No, no, it froze overnight. Like, so you take out your can bags. Is it an NBC item? Uh, no. So you hit it. You hit the ice with the camp packs. And it doesn't even dent the ice. Okay. I'll go put it away. Okay. Um, pull out my fiber knife. Okay. <laughs> to do that, it takes two charges to, okay. cut, to cut the door out and push it over. Okay. Okay. So, um, Brandon, if you have a, yeah. a vibro blade, in my, in my games, uh, vibro blades have charges. Each each battery for a vibro blade has a hundred charges on it. Okay. So if you have a vibro blade, go ahead and. So for every every strike you do, costs a charge. Yeah, but if you do like a long attack, like cutting open a a full door, then I'll do a D4. Yeah. Um, You get it open and you you walk through, Uh, and there is still that sheen of ice on on a whole bunch of stuff. You see uh, Wrigley's spearmint gum and some candy bars just kind of frozen. Um, it's all been rifled through before. There's still some items left. Uh, you see like a little section of kids' toy stuff uh, where you see those uh, those blow-up balloons that you can uh, uh, punch, balloons. punch balloons. And then regular balloons all frozen. Do I see any stuffed unicorns? You see any stuffed unicorns? Uh, you're looking around. 
No, there's no stuffed animals. Just They're just like those little weird toys that you'd have. In cheap stores. Yeah, yeah. in cheap stores. Um, looking for stuff that will be useful, like um, uh, camp stove propane canisters, uh, boxes of nails. Um, in this general store, there are some nails. Um, they're in a, a, a bucket, and it, and it says... Nails. <laughs> uh, they are three inch nails. They are blacksmith nails, though. Like, so it doesn't make a difference. I know, but they're you can tell that they were made, you know, by hand. Oh, awesome! Love good quality. Yeah. Um, is it like a five gallon bucket or a barrel? It's a five gallon bucket. Uh, uh, there's about left in there, as you can see, sixty nails. Okay, that's that's enough for what I need. Yeah. Try to get the bucket up. They probably weigh a half an ounce each. Oh, okay. It's well, pretty it's, big. I can, I can pick it up fairly easy. Yeah. Um, does, it, does it have ice over it? A little bit less. Like it takes you a little bit. You and Scott together <laughs> can break the bucket free. Cool. Um, we'll do it. And then... Um, I'm looking around for any kind of uh, liquid fuel, oil. Uh, All the propane... Uh, gas stuff like that is gone. You, you you find a section that says you know has labels of uh, with scanned propane, uh, five bucks a uh, canister. Uh, any um, any like road flares, things of that nature. All that kind of stuff has been looted already. Um, there's a chance that there's one or two left. Let me Mm, no, they're they're all gone. Well, nails are useful. You do find a lighter though, uh, one of those Coleman bendy lighters. Oh, cool. No. Yeah, we'll take that. Put uh, that in the bucket. However, it is frozen. <laughs> it's still an MDC uh, rip, and I just chicken. Yeah, you get it off. You, yeah. you you get it off. No problem. It's just the liquid. Like you don't know how what the state of the. Oh, that's fine. It's still got flint. Yeah. I just need it for other reasons. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. For making other things. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, there's a little bit of um, cord, about 200 feet of cord. Oh, we definitely take that. That you got uh, there in regular cord or pair cord. Uh, regular cord. Okay. Um, for like uh, just nylon. Regular yeah. nylon cordage. Yeah. Okay. Um, not much else. Um, but go ahead and roll um, a 20 sided die for me. After this perception, we're going to switch to uh, the next group, which will be uh, Morphin and his and Jolene. I rolled a 7, sir. No. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to go to Morphin and Jolene. Where are you guys going in this town? You fo kind of follow them into the town to, um, you see the general store, you, you see the blacksmith, um, a whorehouse, a uh, obvious you know, whorehouse brothel. There's several bars. Um, there's about five hotel with each one has a bar. Uh, this town could accommodate probably 10,000 oh, yeah. people total. But it it's definitely it was like a it was like a, a pop up mining town or something. I'm not, not really sure. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm mostly only interested in magical things that might be able to help us, and I might be able to find us some. How, what do you what are your thoughts on that? Magical items are good. I could use a weapon, though. A weapon? A weapon, I have none. I have a taser. That's it. Fair enough. Where would we find... Just, and did you say that there was a blacksmith? As you're, as you're walking to the blacksmith... Yes. Um, you, you actually... It's, it's hard to walk because if you're literally walking on ice that's covered in a little bit of snow. But... As your feet uncover it, you you realize out of the corner of your eye that 
you see like a frozen guy under the ice. Like a coalition soldier, just frozen. Um, in a, it looked like he was, he was uh, rotting in the sun when he was frozen over. Hmm. You, you're seeing what I'm seeing, aren't you? I am seeing it. Is there a way to get to him to see if there's anything on him that we could use? You'd have to use some sort of pickaxe to break through the ice and excavate the guy. It looks like there's at least four to six inches of ice over him. That's a lot of ice. Um, go ahead and roll a perception there, Jolene. If you get a 12 or higher, it's good. Oh, I wanted to say thank you to um, Jason Dunaway for his uh, subscription and also um, Asherford Swiftwind for their um, follow. Got an eight. Got an eight. Yeah, you don't you, you don't see how you could do that and get this guy out. That's a lot of ice. That's pretty thick. You, you know that. This, Four to six inches, you could drive a car over that. Mm -hmm. Over a lake, if it was on a lake. It would support its weight. There is the drastic route. I could use magic. Do you choose you to do magic? That? I don't have any fire spells, but I do have lightning. It should be more than hard enough to melt the ice. Go for it. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, otherwise, I only have, like, a hand axe uh, and a knife. I, I can't see any other way. Maybe using my energy. Uh, I could shoot at it with my energy rifle, but I think I'm going to try with my uh, magic for now. Okay, so you call lightning on it? Is it is it call lightning, or is it, like... Call lightning, yes. Call lightning. So, go ahead and then... Uh... Roll a 20-sided die. I just want to see if it's a nat 20 for double damage. You're not going to miss. All it's right. ice. A 17 to strike. So you strike exactly where you want with your lightning bolt. Lightning. You guys all of a sudden you hear just a uh, thunder and lightning. And you just see the lightning come down from the sky. And just strikes into uh, right actually behind you guys. It makes you jump while you guys are searching for stuff. Um, it's so loud and right behind you. I turn around. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, you turn around and you, yeah, I mean, you're in a building. You, you're, you're not really sure, just, but you, lightning just struck. Everybody in the town sees it or hears the lightning and you can see it come down from the sky. It's so loud. Or, three MDC. Three MDC. <laughs> Unfortunately, so the lightning strikes this ice. It just scars the ice. It shatters a little bit of the uh, on top of it, but it doesn't destroy it. <coughs> you can roll magic lore if you'd like. Unless you have a better uh, guess. I do have magic lore. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know about Asclepius. But he'll probably go with me. But as soon as I hear lightning, yes. I'm going to go investigate. Because lightning's not supposed to just happen. Right. So you guys, <laughs> you and Asclepius, come out the building as as you see Morphin's like looking around this spot that obviously you could see got struck by lightning. Um, there, I, There is I clouds in the sky. The What'd you get? I got a 41 and a mine's 45. So you made it. Um, this could be... 
Like, ice is an MDC, but this could be an elemental spell. This could have been made by an elementalist to make a damage ice. Unless, for some reason, the ley line is causing things to be MDC. But definitely seems like elemental magic. So, like, honestly, they're out there standing over some ice they tried to break. Do you know that he has lightning? No, I do not. So, okay. yeah, that's so um, it would be... Right, you just see this huge scar, and he's, like, well, checking it out. Okay, I'm, like, looking around, going, yo, what's up? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. We heard, we heard, we heard, yeah. I heard a kaboom. <clears throat> do the rest of you guys are coming, converging on that area? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, uh, apologies, Dr. Asclepius. I, I did not mean to concern you. I was trying to free this, uh what looks like a corpse from this ice, but this is not like any ice I've ever seen. It's no. It's much more resilient. It's it's gotta be magic in nature. Yeah, it's MBC ice. It's it's there's some something else that has given it this this hardness. So you guys come in at this time, and the different groups uh, come in to hear them talking about the ice. And yeah. So the, the, you, you made the boom. Uh, yes, sorry. To I, try to break the ice. Absolutely, yeah. I did. That was, yeah. that was my bad. I should have I should have told you first. Go talk to Jorge and have him give you a knife. Uh, Michael, see it comes. You see his, his weapon is drawn. And he's like, what's going on? Oh. Uh, it's fine, Michael. He was just trying right? to break the ice. Yeah. Oh. Uh, everything's good. With Michael. With lightning? But the, the ice it was the, it was the best tool at my disposal. I don't know. It's just ice, guys. Not a, no, uh, it isn't just ice. Not a minor. It's MDC it's ice. It's not ice. Yeah. Oh, it's shit. magical ice. So I told him to go to Jorge and go get a vibro blade. Vibro knife so he can at least chip it out. No. He should have Jorge make. Oh, dude. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, uh, let's try not to catch cast magic like that's so loud. It might draw attention to yeah. us. Hey, Michael. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't yeah. thinking. Do you I'm... know what would freeze a town this instantly? Flash freeze. Um, uh... Global cooling. What is it? Global cool. Global. Uh, <laughs> um, 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 well, a, a mystical ley line storm? I mean, there's a... That, that, we're, that we're right in front it of? It could also be the result of a very powerful magic spell that someone has cast yes. over this town. Yeah. And they could have used... Like a warlock. I think... An elemental I warlock think or something. I think we just said that. There are strange, uh, did you just say that? What? <laughs> you guys are so, like, I can't hear you guys that well. You you talk like whispers. You talk like Jaden. <laughs> uh, yes, Dr. Slepius, it could be a warlock. Could be. I mean, that would explain this. So... Where would this warlock be? Have to worry about warlocks now? Well... Um, if, or an elemental. That's not even... that. That's not... That's not good. Elementals are not good. A nice elemental would be a better explanation, actually. He's... So... Still what if this is here right now with us? I mean, well, what are we going to do? If it, if it is, it's already coming this way. Because it yeah. does hard to boom. And, <laughs> and we're going to have to deal with it one way or another. True. That's right. So pay attention ah. where you're at, folks. Keep your heads on a swivel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to go back searching. <laughs> we'll let you get back to it. Whatever. All right. Mike. Mike goes. Come on, one of, one of these buildings must be defensible. We. I don't think we have a choice. We need to pick and choose an area quickly at this point. Um, over by the back side of the general store, you think you saw what looked like a train station also. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, there's some train tracks mm. that go right through this town. Train tracks. I forgot about that. Depending on how the train is, it could be either uh, steam power or it's diesel power. <laughs> I, think it was, I think it was steam power. I think so, too. Was, and you guys actually last game, last, uh, last episode, heard a train. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. We did? Yeah. Yeah. It we was did. about 10 miles off? Mm. It's not good. I wish I'd known that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. well, uh, the railroad would keep this, the, the, rail, the railway open. If possible. <clears throat> um, yes. Perhaps somebody should check out the truck. We should go check it out. Alright. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, we got a couple other groups that well, have turns. So, the Juicer and uh, Nynaeve, I believe, get to go. And then we'll do... Uh, Wait, the Ju... No, Nazareth and Nynaeve. Oh, oh sorry. Right. Yeah. John, Wilson, John Wilson and Rodney. Yeah. Who's with Lightfoot? Uh, that would be Rowan. Rowan. Oh, okay. So and let's do Rowan and Lightfoot, because that's actually the next group. And then it's uh, either Nazareth and Raylakin or John Wilson oh, and uh, Nynaeve. Maybe. Yes. Oh, oh, uh, thank you for the gift. That's the other way around, Adam. Oh, to all our viewers out there, um, I just put a new thing up. I don't know if it's actually working. It's called Rift of Fate. Um, if for every donation of three dollars, it gives the uh, group a reroll um, for when they're in bad situations, and then every um, thirty-three dollars, it gets them a reroll that forces the GM to reroll. Okay. Um, so. so no, I need a lot. Lightfoot, do you think maybe we should go with them? I mean, you are the healer of the group. Yes, yes, we should go investigate, see what's going on. So where you, where you go? So we're gonna follow the. They're gonna follow me and Asclepius. Yeah. Okay, so you and Asclepius, and you guys, you guys all go towards the. Um, uh, train tracks behind the general store and when you when you get there the tracks are covered in ice he, thick two feet of ice because the tracks are actually you kind of go down and the tracks are a little bit below the town it looks like the town was put on a hill the tracks come in um, and yeah you can see they're covered in about two feet of ice um, as far as you can look down the track uh, and that would be where you guys had heard the whistle. It could be that the tr they're trying to clear the tracks, you know, way down there. Um, it is, by the time you got to that point, it is about 6 o'clock in the morning. And you do, you can hear now and again the, the sound of the train whistle again. It still sounds like it's coming from the same area, and you can see um, uh, smoke off in the distance. Awesome. Perfect. There is a ticket booth. There is a building with a ticket booth. And it says, uh, you know, the, the prices of the tickets. Cool. It looks like it is one, one credit per panel. So, oh, can I make a perception? Yes. I'd really like to find out, like, if this... Uh, so, we heard the train, what, a day or two ago? Uh, yesterday, which was a half a day ago. Right. How are the... How do the tracks look? Do they look like... They are frozen solid. There's two feet of ice on them. As far as your eye can see. As far as the eye can see from north to south. That's the way the tracks run. So, do you think it would have been like that... Yesterday? It was. Because the How whole town the, was under ice. How did the train... Oh, the train never came by. It it was making its whistle. Oh. So in the old days, 
you could they're running the train still while they're building tracks. Well, they're they're probably trying to clear the tracks is what your guys test has claimed to the police. And is there any sort of like life activity looking like you know, I mean any anything or is it just frozen solid also? The whole entire town mm -hmm. is frozen solid. Every now and then, you can see like a snow bunny. Well, you guys saw wolves last night, and you had a run in with a <coughs> buffed up vampire. Yeah, yeah. Were you aware of that? Was that care? Okay. Yeah, you guys. Um, yeah. That you guys never killed. No, we didn't. <laughs> we watched the wisp. No, we didn't. We ran away. <laughs> we we never. It got away. Realized we never realized it was a vampire. Yeah. Right. It looked like a wolf, yeah. like a werewolf. Right. Right. The only there's only one person that realized it was a vampire, and got a character, and it wasn't any. It wasn't me. So. Right. <laughs> I thought I told you guys. Not Did you? you? No, I no. don't think so. I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> well, that was correct. <laughs> um. All right. Um. This is like a train station. It goes into like a train shed. Uh huh. Um, oh, wait. There's no train check shot here. This is just one of those old time platforms. Platform with a ticket booth and probably. There's no, uh, there's no repair station for the train. No. no. Okay. This town is too small for that. Okay. Just check. It's like a stop on the way to somewhere important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. This is not important. Yeah, pretty much. Um, this town is the greater. Well, Hefford is a good one. Um, what, pardon? I think we should <laughs> go, That's home. go uh, gather with everybody else. And I think we should kind of search this place as a group. Probably. Probably uh, a good idea. We're probably the best idea. And then just go through every spot one by one. Especially all the, the hotels with bars. Uh, any place that serves food. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. We need to check. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking for oil, grease, you name it. For the, uh, the diesel engines. Uh, for, yeah, for, for, well, yeah, for actually to make diesel, to, to, to burn critters. Yes. Um, or to make, you know, uh, to make a field of death. Okay. Yeah. I'm all about field of death at this moment. A field of death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is this, um, an NBC okay. or an SDC field of death? Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, once we do enough, being as I know what they are, once we do enough, we do enough fire damage to them, it will be an MDC field of death. <laughs> ah, excellent. So, uh, and I don't, I I understand that uh, Asclepius has claimed said, uh, Mo friend. Mo friend. You think my name Mo is Malfren? <laughs> oh. You Mal friend. You have no name. You say Malfren? Oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> um, just be lucky we're not calling you Taco Tuesday. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. Anywho. That's um, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, uh, well, it also will... If we keep an eye on the new guy and our uh, new traveling companion here, I guess, is going to be hanging out with us, uh, Jolene. Ah, Jolene. Uh, yeah. Which I'm, I'm talking about them in front of them. Okay. Yeah. So they know that, you know, this is what's up. Right. Uh, right. I'm straightforward and honest about uh, situations and especially my life in general. So, yeah, I... We're going to group up and then go search. That way, um, there's no more lightning bolts, and um, I don't know your combat abilities. So that way, 
you don't accidentally die Money. while we're not looking. Basically for your own benefit. So. Right. Mango says over the radio. Uh, Kaylee and I are going to stand guard then. We're going to look for anything coming our way. That's a Roger. Alright. Um, and then we'll just go from building to building. Alright. As a group. Because that way it, um, if if they get in trouble themselves being together right. and they get if something jumps them I don't know if it's, if they're powerful enough to stop whatever's going to jump them it'd be better if they had more eyes right uh, yeah. and safer Seven in nine. general um oh, and uh, I, I asked Marabeeb um <laughs> to, uh, to go scout the cat? yeah Marabeeb's cat I love it as you wish my companion what? Huh? I was... The name. I love it. Marhabib. 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 He has a... Uh, he's more of like a wintry dragon cat. Where he has snow paws. Mm, cool. That are, so he can actually uh, Walk on travel the on the snow. Nice. Like, like he has snowshoes. Good deal. Um, I'll and, make sure uh, uh, to... Um, bring two along. Two. Yeah. The rat? Yeah, if I have to, I'll carry him. It's a, not that big a deal. Okay. So, two is actually small enough. He could probably ride your Mahabee. Uh, yeah, but that, that's, that's Marby's decision, not right. mine. Mahabee's like, sure, I'll play with the rat. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now he is, he is, uh, I, he has been claimed with my house, so... Um, he used to be protected because he is going to be a resource later. Well, oh, he's like, of course. Because a resource. <laughs> <laughs> I say that out loud, but it's, and I tell. Well, but it's like, you know, when you're not a conclave member, and you're not, uh, but you are a religious man of the I don't know how that works. I don't know if your claims are enforceable. I will respect you, of course. They will I'm be. just saying, if we come across others of your religion, I don't know if that's kind of shades of gray. Once, once we're conclave, which will be here soon, well, that won't matter. No, he won't. Ah, I see in the back. You will perform this conclave. Yes. That is our goal. Ah, lucky. And I shall... As always, you are my companion, and I will respect your claim. And Thank what you. I'm just saying is, we should watch out for others. Yes. As there are some that have been a conclave, that their claims are more valid. Yes. So, he goes off to the track and, yeah. and checks stuff out. Um, uh, yeah, and well, we just go from, from place to place. Okay. So, you guys have gone to the train station. Um, there, you ah. discover the tracks. You also, if you looked in the building, you would discover um, the ticket moving. It is all automated. Um, it's, you put your credit chip in, you type where you want to go, that's along the route, and it, it just spits you a ticket out. However, it's also frozen over, so like yeah. you can't even put your credit chip in. It, uh, it, the whole town is this way. Uh, next, where do you want to go? Um, well, the next building in line will probably be a hotel with a bar. Okay. As you um, cross... You cross us the, the street across from the um, uh, train station to a hotel. The sign, again, most of the signs have been blasted off. It, it looked like this town had been in some kind of battle um, before it got froze over. But you can still see the burn marks all frozen on it. It, it looked like it was called the, the um, 
desperate hotel. Um, you walk in, uh, the bottom level is a saloon. The, 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 the floor is extremely slippery, so you all actually have to roll um, a sense of balance as you step on this uh, floor. Except for the ones that are flying. Except for the ones that are flying. That's obvious. Uh, balance is a uh, skill roll? He's a 20. Uh, is a, yes, a skill roll. And uh, basically, it's your, your physical prowess. 8 for motion. And 25%. Uh, oh, 13 If you don't have the skill sense of balance. Uh, I rolled okay. <laughs> You actually nimbly get on the floor, uh, but you're, you're very aware if you make certain movements... Like, you don't want to get caught in combat on this floor. Yeah. It would be <laughs> devastating. No, I would just lay down. Because it's for our health. Uh, because if you fight on ice, you just lay down. Right. So. I got a gun for that. I just lay down and shoot. Okay. <laughs> so, what, um, what bonuses are there? For what? Your physical prowess plus prowess. 25%. That's if you don't have sense of balance, like with a gymnastics roll or something. So I got a 10. You got a 10? So you do not slip. Scott? I thought it's 13. 13? Just tell me yeah. if you didn't make it then. Morphin, how'd you do? I slipped on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you slipped on your face. Are you wearing armor? I made it. I, I do have the, uh, um, I'm, I'm wearing armor and I also have the, uh, the face mask. Face how, mask. how bad did you slip? Like, what, what was your roll? Uh, 66 compared to like a, um, like 44, I believe. Okay. So you were, you slipped and fell hard enough that you received some SDC damage. Um, oh, yeah. only two points. Uh, you bruised your butt. Yeah. Oh. You, you like fell on your elbow and bruised your elbow. Um, anybody else have a have a fall? Uh, Wilson got a seventy. Wilson got a seventy, but he has have uh, he does have acrobatics. So fifty five. So he got a fifty five percent. Oh, it's percentile. <laughs> it's, yes. Whoops. What is his uh, acrobatics oh. level? What level is he? So, acrobatics, the base, what is that, 35? Oh. Plus 5 per level, plus your PE? Yeah. I, oh. You probably made it no problem. Yeah. 65 plus whatever his PE is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Then I'm... He's yeah. fine. Uh, and... Well, Nazareth got a 1. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon comes and just slides across the floor. Um... And you see his, his his feet just go up out over him, and he slams the back of his head against the ice. I thought um, it was percentile. Oh. It was. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he got crap. Away. He's I ice skating. <laughs> he just pulled his claws out, so I'm ice skating. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> I, I was... He just kind of walks in like <laughs> yeah. nothing's wrong. Right? He walks in like nothing's wrong. Oh, jeez, my imagination sucks. Um... <laughs> That was Raylikin. She was walking. <laughs> Raylikin was <laughs> walking. <laughs> she doesn't walk that much, no. She actually got a 27. She's fine. That, um, and she, she's with you, right, Nazareth? She's like, oh, this walking is weird. Oh, this floor is so slippy. I, I, does this always happen when people walk? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All the time. This is cool. And she's got another 20. So she starts ice skating on, on the... <laughs> On the thing. And then she flies up and hits forward. Yes. Uh, you see her go, <laughs> and she flies and wraps her hands around a bottle as she tries to get into this frozen over bottle of vodka. Uh, well, that's what we came here for. It's all the liquor. Okay. Um, Firepower. So you guys start looting liquor. Yes. Um, it does look like some people tried to loot this store before. Uh, as you see frozen over corpses, you can see the bartender is actually frozen solid. Um, 
with his chest blown out up against the back of the uh, bar. Um, but you also see that he was there's a there's a shotgun kind of frozen in his hand. Ooh. Oh. Um, but you see at least eight bodies that he cut down with this uh, shotgun before he got blasted. So if I may speak, talk to Asclepius. Yes, yes, you may. Jolene could use a weapon, and if we could get that shotgun out, it may prove very effective for her. I, I've got something for her. Do you? Go to my, go to my backpack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's not it. No, 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 that's not it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and I get her a, a, an old um, coalition pistol. The C-27? Or the, uh, sorry, the yeah. C- uh, C-18. C-18? So it does yeah. what? Two D four MDC. Yep. Um, Always. With a what? What is that? A twenty round clip or? Um, uh, I believe I it's. it's a, I believe it's twenty round clip. We'll I go with that for now. Out. So you can write that down. You have a C eighteen with 20, 20 rounds in it. Let me check the document. We'll check the document to confirm it, but it might be more. Um, I'll take now, what I can get. Now you have a weapon at least. Wilson is going yeah, to take two that four. Four. MDC. Wilson, oh, he, oh, he didn't, oh, he's not in a sniper position? What is it? A couple of, couple yeah. of, um, extra oh, clips. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Two, um, two. what your strength is? 30? Uh, no. Well, with the, uh, endo thing, exoskeleton, it is a 30. Okay. Um, a 30 strength, you're able to pry it loose. No. It's a 36. Oh, yeah, no problem. You grab it, you're able to pry it loose because um, it kind of you pull on one and it works as a fulcrum. You pull the, the shotgun loose um, and you, you kind of bang it to bang off yeah. the, uh, the rest of the ice. So, is this a regular M SVC? No, this is a, it's an MDC shotgun. Solid slugs. Um, the, the bartender had a bandolier um, on it. All right. So there was looting and fighting, and none of them noticed getting frozen. Or, I mean, they were they were caught off guard. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy was dead before he got frozen, so. Yes, that's, yeah. Very good. Well, the way he fell, though, it looks like he was frozen before he hit the ground. Because he's frozen up against the back. Like, he stumbled back from getting shot, but then was frozen. You notice there are some people, there was, there was a battle that happened way before the freeze. And then there are some battles that happened after. Like, probably people coming in to loot. Wait, so, this could happen again at any time, and we're just going to stay here? <laughs> well. Sorry, but. Well. Um, Think about it. Still paying attention to the uh, light line. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll perception. Perception. Oh, no, that was for Nukem, because he's paying attention to the light line. Uh, <coughs> um, I rolled a five. Oh, no. Roll a five? Okay. Yeah. Everybody else um, can roll a perception. Thirteen. No, wait, no. Three. <laughs> Wilson got a seven. No, I thirteen. <laughs> yeah, you got your thirteen. Got it. Anybody got <laughs> anything over twelve? Well, I just got a nineteen. Hold on. Thirteen. Jolene note would know. Jolene, you're getting colder. I got a six. My daughter's Yes. Bad. Anybody got a twelve or sharp. higher? David, I'll be back. My daughter's oh, it's getting chilly here. What happened? Oh. Yeah. It's getting a little cold. Ah, uh, 12. Yeah, anybody at 12 or higher, it's getting it's getting chillier. But the sun's coming up. <laughs> I got a 12. My jacket's not doing any good right now. Oh, uh, we should probably get out of here. That's not a good sign. Or we get frozen. Where are we going to go? Well, yeah, where are we going to go? Um, and how 
far out. You think there's been a curse put on this building? No, I think it's, uh, not, I think it's the whole, I think it's next to the ley line. And that's oh, what this the whole area. Is. All of a sudden, you guys hear a laugh. A boom. Oh, no. A boom? Yeah, like the, the, the ground shutters. And then another Ready? shutter. About, Dr. Asclepius, I recommend we play. A minute apart. There's a boom. And then <laughs> another lead. boom. Was an what did I do? It's a I, I, I go to the door. I can't make any decisions on my own, but I do have my hover sight. Roll of perception? I'm looking for whatever is really big feet. Which way are you looking? Uh, I'm looking one way, then I'm looking... Uh, so way. you're actually from the way the, the the hotel is across from the train tracks. So when you go out the door, you're looking north to south. And you can look west. You can't look east behind you. Okay, so I don't see anything north, south, or west. So let, me, let me roll. The sea. Uh, perception. Oh, no. North would be one. A 17. So, you look north first. And you see something. Look for the big. It looks like a small um, glacier. And then all of a sudden it moves. Oh, oh Jesus. It's a Yeti. You see this ice <laughs> glacier moving. But uh -oh. as you can see that it has arms and legs. Um, what? Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> um, there's a glacier outside. It has arms okay. and legs and it's coming this way. What? No, it's not. It, it's it's, coming this it's way. not really. It's going west. Towards, west. towards the ley line. It stops and you hear it roar like it, it's almost an electronic um, wail. Uh, it's so loud. Wow. And then um, you all feel, uh, uh, what's your, uh, shit. Kaylee actually calls in over there. Hey guys, I feel the Noctar. And there's a big moving piece of ice. Um. You feel Noctar. You know where it's at? Um, last night, I think it was coming from the north, and that's I think that's where it is still. As she says that, you see the, the, the piece of ice moves. Turn, you can't, you no longer see, like, its facial features. It turns towards the north a little bit. Uh, is Kaylee north? No. Kaylee says, no, I'm... I am on the hill right behind the town. Uh, 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 Michael Sia has buried me in snow. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, well, uh, I take out the out binoculars. Okay. And I keep an eye on this thing. Okay. So I can't see it no more. You get a bonus for your binoculars. And then I wait. As, you, as you're looking up, you had a 17. Now you have a plus 4 now, and you look. And you can see um, down toward mid, mid, below its arm, you can see weird blackish, purplish, like magical um, hitting it. And then you see the ice kind of turns black and, and crumbles off of the beast. Oh, I recognize that though. So um, and you, you see several things. And then all of a sudden, you <laughs> see what looks like hundreds of those Noctar crawling up over it. Some of them oh. freeze instantly onto it, and then you see others like crawl on the backs of those to get up higher oh. as they're starting to like How far is this overcome away? this thing. He is a good quarter of a mile away. Okay. And All right, guys. We have Noctar to the north. Um, Let's go south. <laughs> um, they're fighting what looks Are we to be, running away? If I was going to yes. guess, a giant creature made of ice. So it's either, I, it's either like an ice giant or like, uh, what he was talking about, maybe like an ice elemental, maybe. 
I don't know because uh, I've never seen one. But um, if they defeat that thing, they're going to come this way, and we're not going to be able to outrun them. Okay. So, so we need to move. Um, so we need to find our defensible position now and go ahead and set up what we got and what we got. So uh, the most defensible defensible position south of our current location. The most south of your current location? Yeah. Um, you kind of look south. Most of the buildings down there are smaller, like housing shacks and buildings. Uh, there's one two-story building. The building you're in, you're in is actually a four-story hotel. It's probably the biggest in the, or the tallest, so your snipers would be good on here. Um, other than that, it's kind of just the, the railroad tracks go off, and then you can see where they're kind of covered in snow. Uh, behind you, uh, behind that building, and down the street is where you would walk, uh, would the casino is, um, uh, and that would be on the uh, south side of the main road. On the north side of the main road is uh, the brothel, the, the uh, blacksmith shop, um, another hotel that's uh, two stories tall, uh, some other buildings, um, and uh, you, you thought you saw what you think is like a grocery store. Um, when you first came into town, it was a little bigger. It was called Fred Mart. <laughs> so probably our most defensible position. Well, if we do if we do the uh, um, crap, if we do the general store, there are sewers underneath it. That's not good. <laughs> but there's no sewers underneath this. So if we put the snipers on the roof of the hotel, they can do a good job before they get here. So we would make our stand here. Yeah, so this is that old western town. Um, so like people took their shit pots and just dumped them up the window. Yeah. <laughs> Into the air. How much yeah. time would you say we have? <coughs> They're a quarter mile away and are still screwing with that. I think we need to hustle now. Yeah. Uh, the snipers need to be in position now and paying attention to what's coming that way. Okay. That way, you can, that between you, Blanchard, and Kaylee, we should be able to uh, uh, have a good heads up. Um, uh, Sclepius, I'm going to give you my binoculars. If you could, keep an eye on the distance, ground level, Got it. to see what coming. I need to check something before All right. they get here. So ground level, uh, as close as you can't really see with the binoculars. When you were using them, you had to look up and because it rises over the town. But there are snow drifts and stuff to the north that you won't be able to see anything coming. Uh, the thing is tall enough where you saw them crawling on it. Crap. It's probably 200 feet tall. Um, if you would, go up a couple stories. Pick a good window <laughs> to uh, pick up, a game. I'll go up to the fourth floor. Yeah. All right. And go with the spotters, the snipers. Um, so. The ice that uh, she melted earlier. Uh-huh. I'm going to make a hustle out there to it. The, uh, the, the, the snow and stuff that she melted that refroze. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take my uh, hand axe and smack it real quick. Okay. And see what happens. The ice um, that she hit with a mega damage item, it is, it's still mega damage. That's what I was wanting to know. All right, cool. Uh, idea two. <coughs> I'm going to talk to her and have her melt all this. <laughs> In that direction. We're going <coughs> to we're going to make a um, we're going to make a field of death right here. <laughs> okay. I can't reach this. Goddamn it. You need to, what do you need to road? That that road piece needs to go right there. <laughs> we're both too short. <sighs> oh God, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to get you a stick with a sticky thing on the end of it. Yeah, Keep I should have had this set up, but I didn't realize you guys were going to be defending on this this building. Well, I mean, 
No, it's okay. It's all good. It, it seems to be, at this point, the most offensible spot we can find for what we need. Oh, yeah. No, I'm... I gotta make it four stories. Okay. So... I guess we're not running. No. Well, I guess I you're not running. I don't... I, I, I mean, we could try, but I, I don't want to die tired. No, um, I think you're right, yeah. I don't yeah, want to die tired either. So... We'll make our stand here. Um, fourth floor. Alright. Let's see. Um, so, this building, it has two four-story areas and one one story. Alright, so I guess we need to pull all the vehicles out. Actually, that should be a three-story. Of, uh... The casino. Well, and if they've got guns, if they don't, it's the safest place for them. You got a point. Well, well I need to go grab the diesel anyway. You do know that they are, it looks like they are hurling some kind of energy weapons at at the creature. So sweet, yeah. Um, I asked Nazareth to give me a hand. Oh, uh, with what? Uh, I need someone to carry barrels. Alright, I'll do that. <laughs> Go get two barrels of diesel. We're gonna put them out here because that's all the diesel we got. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm watching. Um. <laughs> so this is gonna be the fun part. Okay. Um. We've probably got maybe. I'm oh, I'm good. I can get. Forty five minutes. Thank before you. Before they get done with this thing and probably come after us. Um. <laughs> this isn't gonna look too pretty, but it's. This is just the, the little train station thing um, right there. I need um, styrofoam. Styrofoam. And uh, any kind of detergent. All right. Like Dawn dishwashing soap, laundry detergent, whatever you can find. All right. Check the uh, bar, check the hotel laundry. This is, uh, this is, uh. James. Yeah. He's a, I got, uh, I've been checking out this, this Fred Mart. I, I got that detergent for you. Yes. You, you want it in liquid form or you want the granulated? Uh, granulated works better. Okay. I, I'll bring uh, it. I, I got two five gallon buckets of it. looks and like. styrofoam. And styrofoam. Styrofoam coolers, styrofoam cups, uh, Insulated water containers that have styrofoam in the side, inside of them between two plastic layers, whatever makes no difference. All right. I think there's some styrofoam in here, too. All right. We need all of it. All right, we're, we're bringing it over. I'm, uh, who's with me? Uh, My son. Yeah, Carter. <laughs> Carter and I are bringing it over. We'll, uh, we'll bring it over in the little Jeep. Okay. All right. And then... All we need is uh, Rowan to make it slick, and then we'll lay us down a nice big fat field of napalm. And uh, I have a road flare, so I'm gonna play Rowan for a second since she's out. She said, "Lightfoot, don't you have the spell Dragon Fire?" Yes. Perhaps I do. You could oh, use I did. That. Can you use that and sustain it, and maybe? That would work probably better than my fireballs, or along uh, with. I'm wondering, because I, I, I destroyed that ruby in the ritual, <laughs> and that's where the dragon fire comes from. She's Although like, I think just I grab, can... grab uh, Morphin's face. <laughs> Focus. Uh. <laughs> oh, the fire! <laughs> Asclepius, are you really going to allow this inhumanity? Yeah, you can. You guys can borrow more, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did miss a lick. I, I'm going up to the fourth floor. Humanity. Okay. We've lost our humanity. Um, I asked Morphin. Mm -hmm. uh, do you... uh, may I suggest that we create a circle of power then? Yo, if you're we going, are going to, to be touching me, you might as well make it worth my while. <laughs> we, we are going to, actually. Going to we'll, touch we'll make a couple me. of them. But, uh, How old are you? Does, does Mulfrin have any fire spells? Unfortunately, I do not. Okay. Uh, I'm down. 
down to learning. To learn I though. do have. I have a firebolt. The people in the. Yeah, I do still have so. that a, a ruby that can. Be yeah, you can put him in here in, in the hotel. The dragon oh, fire. Back here. What am I? What am I uh, melting? I what does dragon fire do? Shacks in front of the hotel. It's really hot and melt things. All the way down towards the uh, train station was at the north, right? Uh, so, the train station is right there. That's the, north? This is, no, Never north is that way. Me. So remember, the track goes north to south. Okay. So, that's going to be north. So that's the train tra train station across from the, the building. Okay. Um, there's nothing else. So, remember, this actually is, goes down a little bit. Yeah. Um, about 10 feet. Um, and then beyond that, uh, it goes down again, and then it's just the fields. So uh, it's just snow and ice. Snow and ice. So if she can make from that building right there, what's that building right there? This is just a building, just, just a building, house okay. of some sort. Um, so, like, this area right, you all right? Yeah, good. <laughs> this area to the north? Yeah. Like, um, a wide enough swap, probably maybe 100, 200 feet wide. Okay. Of just melted snow and ice that'll refreeze. So, that's going to be, snowing. that's going to be about from here to here. Mm -hmm. A nice swath. The north. Okay. Cool. So the two ladies go ahead and start working on that. Um, Just roll me. Yeah. Uh, Lightfoot and me. You are making all the snow over here. Uh huh. Basically, she ice dies. by melting it down and it's going to oh. refreeze. The dragon so, fire clears 100 feet. A hundred feet? Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Um, I will allow you to try to maintain the dragon fire as like a, kind of like a flamethrower. If you roll percent, uh, per, uh, 20 sided die to kind of modify the spell because you, what happened to Lightfoot? I, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'm having trouble with my camera, and okay. it's telling me that I have to select another video camera. Uh, weird. Hang on. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell's going on. That's weird. Okay, but you're still there. I only there. have one camera, so maybe it just took a shit. Yeah, you probably just have to either unplug it and plug it back in. Is it built in, or is it... Uh, <laughs> Built-in camera. Okay. Just, you might have to just turn it back on. Hi to our couple of viewers that are checking us out. Hey, Steel. What's up, buddy? Hey. Awesome. See Steel. Hey, Steel. If you see me, you see our uh, our Rift of Fate? Do you, does that work? I don't know if oh, it's shit. active. Oh, shit. I can't find my camera. Oh, that means you're, you're, you probably have to restart your um, computer. At 9 o'clock, we can go on a break, though, so that you okay. can do that, because that 9 o'clock okay. is our normal break time. That's in four minutes. What do I need to roll to see if I can just, do this spell? Out? Just percentile dice. I just want, oh, sorry, a 20-sided dice, because um, you're modifying <laughs> the spell. Um, and that's one of your abilities from your that's magic cool. level. Um, I think you have that chart, but... What'd you get? Twelve. A twelve? I'm awesome. So, dragon fire is a pretty high level um, spell. You were able to, you were able to modify it, but it, it's costing you triple the PPE. Um, something uh, in the cantation isn't right, but you were able to modify it to do, but with triple PPE, you're able to maintain it for about. Uh, Three melee rounds. Who am I would, stealing people from? The ley line. Oh wait. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You, 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 you actually didn't say you were gonna draw from there. So it's from yourself. 
Well, then I'm short, uh, like, 40 PPE. 40 PPE? I, yeah, it I takes, can send some PPE to her. You don't know this. Oh, damn it. Um, roll it another... i to burn this spell, and I only have 80. So roll another 20-sided um, dice to see if you're able to pull from the ley line. Nat 20. <laughs> Yay. All right, so you're able to pull all 90 from the ley line, not from your personal reserves with that nat 20. Hey, everybody who just joined us. Cool, we got some. We got five viewers on. Awesome. So uh, you guys start melting the ice over here. I forgot I have an actual ice one of these. I should have put it down. Um, and all this is starting to turn to ice. It's going to take you guys probably 10 minutes of flame throwing to, to really get that good. Um, roll a 20-sided dice, Becca, for your character, Rowan, to see if she's able to pull from the ley line also. Um, no bonuses? As the 29-minute mark, no bonuses, starts to hit. I got an eight. An eight, you're, you realize that as you're trying to, the ley line, like, flares, and it actually takes six, six points from you. Oh, shit. Um. You actually, like, the, the ley line starts, like, sucking up um, PPE from all around. Oh. Oh. Guys, that's not supposed to happen. No, Or at not. least I've never seen it happen. What's happening? It's... Somebody's using the ley line like a slurpy straw. Something's connected to this ley line, Michael Cena says over the radio. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there saying this, as you hear me go... Something's using this ley line as a slurpy straw. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Could be that. Creature. Could be. Well, we're going to find out here shortly, because uh, either we're fighting that car or we're fighting it. Or both. No. Or both. Or both. Yeah. Well, maybe if we're quiet enough and we don't make any noise, it'll pass us by. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. But let's be prepared. So, um, you do see that creature is slowly moving north more. That's good. Um, oh, good. So, <laughs> it is actually about three quarters of a mile away now. Good. What it gives is us it? Time to do the circles. Okay. So, you guys start doing circles. Where are you doing those at? Um, right at the start of where their ice is going to start. Is that north of the town or, or like? No, right here. here. Right, right there. So at the end of the path. Yeah, right when the path starts. Okay. So for us, How many closest circles? to us. Well, I'm going to do one really big one. Okay, um, so you start, what are you making the circle out of? Well, um, I am going to, I'm going to carve it in ice with a vibro blade. All right. Um, it's a pretty thin circle. Uh-huh. Uh, That's fine. fine. Then I'm going to fill it with napalm. <laughs> nice. Okay. So you... Um... And the, the circle I'm making is Natosa with the moon's emblem in it. Okay. Nice. Um, because if they make it that far, I'm sacrificing them all. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. Raylican comes up to you and says, I, I can help make smaller circles. What if we, we, we make smaller <coughs> circles that come off from the big one, led by a, a connecting line of napalm? Yes. They have to be, it has to be wide enough to be able to put napalm so when I light this, it all lights. Okay. I'll get working on the smaller ones. Okay. So she is helping you with that. Um, that circle project is probably going to take or two because the ice is hard to carve and you're going to go through like four batteries well I've got five so okay. um, uh, she you see her she just casts um, side light um, no she doesn't oh, have side light right. she has she has her, her purple yes. energy blade you see her cast that out and, and starts carving yeah, I don't have anything like that. No, it's going to cost her PPE, though. 
So you guys are working on that project. Go ahead and roll me 20 uh, percentile dice to how well that works. And you guys already are finished. You would. Um, who else is preparing and what are you doing? Um, Wilson is going to scowl at the fourth uh, floor. The fourth With floor? So are you, is that where you're sniping yeah. from? Are you going to be on this tower or this tower? The left. This one. Yeah. So are you going to be on top of the building or yeah. on the in the fourth floor? Like on, here's the balcony. You could be there or you could be on top. There are stairways that go down. On top. <coughs> okay. So we're, we're going to say that this little rail is all the way around here too. Okay. And then after after Blanchard brings the uh, <laughs> the aforementioned goodies. Uh huh. Um, Not tar knife goods. Knife. Yeah. Knock tar enhanced nitroglycerin. Get those instant explosive results. <laughs> yep. And then uh, uh steel. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go to a break to let. Sorry, to let um, Lightfoot redo her computer. Um, it is 9 o'clock, so it is our break time. So, we're going to break, everyone. All right. Bye.
Hey, sorry, we had a little bit of technical difficulty. Um, we're back, though. Uh, we just had a, a player whose internet crapped out or computer crapped out. She's going to be on phone with us to listen in while she's trying to get her computer straightened out some more. It's just slow. But we're back, and the group has basically, um, they're, they're setting up a defensive measure and a trap so that they can um, defeat any Noctar that come into the town. Uh, which is which is kind of good. There's there's kind of a, a hilly thing of snow behind the town, and now they have made basically they've melted the snow for 300 feet to the north, and a in a in a swath of 200 to 300 feet wide, um, uh, in the direction that the Noctar are coming. So it's all just melted um, snow that's now turned to ice because it's so cold, uh, and will cause it to be a slippery untractionable area. They've also carved some circles of Natosa in it with protection spells and napalm put in the, the ridges as a trap so that they can try to um, to burn the shit out of the Noctar and sacrifice them to the moon. Um, Relican has added some smaller um, circles that are that are uh, carved off to the thing. So you have how many, you, you have a main one, and then you actually have, she's carved uh, nine small ones off of the, that shoot off of it. And you guys are able to get enough of your napalm, that your homing napalm made. Um, so, uh, James, while you were carving, was making the, the, the napalm. Um, he's putting the, the diesel in with the styrofoam. Oh. And one, one, and one. And melting it down. I, I, love so. <laughs> I love the smell. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Yes. So you guys have. Uh, it's been about an hour. Um, the the battle with the 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 Noctar and the ice elemental seems to be raging on, uh, but the ice elemental has moved. He's a good mile and a quarter, or sorry mile and three quarters away now. Um, he's been moving towards the north. Um, Raylikin suggests that perhaps it's, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you, sister, you should go and scout and see where it's going. I can, wait, but I need somebody with me. Well, I can fly with you this one time. Okay, yes, yes, and, we'll and do we'll that. we'll go see what's going on, but we'll see why it's moving north. Okay. Uh, as you guys fly off, Michael C is like, "Damn, we should have got those radios for those little ones." Yeah. We should try to get that. Should be top on our list for for. Uh, yeah, as soon as we get back somewhere. Radios oh, with cameras, so we can see what they're seeing. Yeah, because we can always trust what they're saying. Can always <laughs> go like, like, on a, our heads. like a helmet. <laughs> Make a helmet for them. Yeah, GoPros. Who, who, yeah, was it, yeah. who was it that used to make us little fairy armor? We had a, a gamer. Oh, wait, like, out I of, had. Out of rat? No, 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 no. Because I had, like, the jacket and the accoutrements of a of a captain. Right. And he would make us. Oh, that was, armor. um. Um. Was that Austin? No. It was one of them. From, the, from Alaska, I think. Okay. Anyways, yeah. let's not get off track. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead and roll your perception as you go across. And I will roll Graylikins. Uh, she doesn't see much. She's in, She's just going, Oh, look at that big piece of ice. I'd like to pour some Pepsi all over it. <laughs> talking, talking about the ice elemental. Oh. Um, as you guys do fly, you, you definitely, it is definitely an ice elemental. Are both creatures of magic. You guys have magic lore, and you're both like ninth level. You guys are like this is an ice elemental, um, and at that a greater ice elemental, not just a <coughs> little. Can we communicate with it? Do you? I try. No. Elemental. I don't, but I'm still going to try telepathically. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say to it? Um, I ask it what its name is. Hi. It 
tells you a name that's impronounceable. I'll call you Z. It scoffs. Looks in and, and it's like looking, trying to see you with its big ass. Oh, I'll go up to the side. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, you get a sense of why are you in my territory? You and these fleas. These fleas. And it bashes and it swipes like a big swath of, of Noctar and throws them up in the air um, with one hand and then freezes them uh, with a, with a, a, a gout of snow or blizzard and it just they fall to the ground um, and shatter on some ice hey hey you know there's there's more north tar like our way can you get rid of them that's a great idea can you come with us <laughs> Rickleykin's like wait no 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 we don't want him to come near us didn't you see what he just did didn't you see the trail that he leaves behind him Look. You just see just thick ice behind him. Everything is just iced over well, for, how... for at least a good half a mile around him. He's just this freezing and there's blizzards blowing. It's pretty freaking cold. You both you fairies are naked. It's really cold over here. It is. Oh, but we have so many questions. We I don't have any questions for him. Well, we need to know what his name is. What is his name? Yeah. It's kind of what I got. I will spell it out for you. <laughs> there it is. His cool. name he gave you. Yeah. Okay. So nice to meet you. Why are you going north? And can you not like freeze everything? I'm really cold. You do know that the translations are weird because his the way he thinks is in such a different like thought that he is just trying to rid. He's just trying to kill the fleas. Carrie says she's having issues with Wi-Fi as well. Okay. I'm sorry, Carrie. Doesn't look like she'll be back. Yes, Rift of Fate. <laughs> so, okay. Tell her sorry. If she she tries to do it again. God, she needs to make it. Or she get it for Christmas or something. That'd be cool. So, um, but yeah, yeah. So, there, there needs to be a way that he can help us. He ain't helping us. But no, the knocked are back that way. What knocked are you talking about back that way? The ones that were all like. The ones that he's killing? But he didn't kill the ones back there. There are none back there, though. <laughs> are you getting the wrong impression? I am. Wrong impression. So, direction. the ice elemental rose out of the ground somewhere, and then was being attacked by Noctar. Right. And then it started heading north. Right. While it was being attacked by Noctar. As you're looking north, there's more Noctar north. He's leaving a, a frozen trail of Noctar in his wake. Uh -huh. um, but you do notice that he is probably 25% damaged. He's pretty damaged by the Noctar. You can see where all down his right side is some black purplish ice that's just kind of it's, it's dripping off of him. And he's getting, he's getting a little smaller. Can those of us on the fourth floor of the building, can oh. we see what happened? 
Uh, with a perception, do you have binoculars or anything? Because now he's he's he is a good mile and a half off, so a mile and three quarters off. I've got some. Yes. Anybody who has a scope or binoculars can see this if you're on uh, the third or fourth floor of the building, um, or if you're on the snow drift where. Uh, Kaylee's oh, glitter boy is. So, fireball in front of us at the Noctar. So, you cast fireball. Um, the elemental freaks out as fire <coughs> is casted. And, and its breath just causes a blizzard to blow out. Um, Roll a 20-sided dice yeah. if you want to dodge. Yeah. Or be frozen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14 on the die. Okay. And then even a stinky really can sickle. So, yeah, as he, as he screams, blizzards appear like these, these tornado-like blizzards just whip around. Um, you're able to dodge out of the way. You do take some cold damage um, just because you're in the area, and it's below 100 degrees below freezing. Uh, so that is ooh, 22 points of damage, magic, to you and the Raylikin. Raylikin's freezing. Um, you see she actually um, drops out of the air a little bit because you can tell that her wing got frozen a little bit. I'll, I'll try and catch her. She says, stupid, stupid, stupid! Why? I always, I, I told her I didn't want to go with you! You're mad at me because you, you yeah. came with me? Yeah, because you, you made me feel bad that I wasn't hanging out with you today, and, and, because I wanted to hang out with, 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 with John Wilson, and, and you made me go with you to the north, to this creature. No, I didn't want to go with, to the creature. Then I go back! I was going, I can't! My wing is frozen! I'll take her back. God damn it! <laughs> Natosa damn it! Natosa damn it! Ah! Nakara damn it! May the room curse you forever! She screams at the, the uh, beast. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought she was gonna, okay. No, she screams at the, the pile of ice. Because <laughs> her, her wing is frozen like salt as you help her back. One of her wings is still working. Um, you're only able to go about half speed because she's just, she's a lame duck right now. Uh, let me see if that curse works. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we don't want to kill that thing. Right. She can actually cast magic. I was just seeing if Nakari was paying attention to her. Oh. <laughs> but the ice elemental continues in its northern pattern for another couple minutes. And then it kind of banks to the uh, east a little bit. You guys get back. What are you guys doing while they're off there? You guys cannot see the fairies uh, with the binoculars. They're just too tiny. They're like gnats. Yeah. Um, but you can see that the part of the right side of this creature is completely just dripping of that oily noctar ooze and you see it, it, it's shrinking in size as it as it's getting damaged. Are you? Um, wait to see if this thing kills all the Noctar. Which I think is a great plan. And I'm a thousand percent beside behind it. <laughs> um, um, you don't know if it's killing all the Noctar. At this point you can't see like the Noctar on the ground at all. Um, you do can you still see that it's getting bombarded by Noctar blasts, but they seem to be less and less. Um, and then all of a sudden, you see the creature, it, it turns towards the east. Um, but as it does that, it looks like it melts down a little bit smaller. Um, you probably, it, it's probably only 60% of its, of its original height. Mm. That's a lot. Well, as this thing is getting farther away, is the temperature um, rising? 
Um, so the temperature, yes, the temperature has rose, risen back to where it was. You guys are about negative uh, 35 degrees right now. Okay. Um, but as it as it goes away, then yeah, you were about negative 80 when it was. It's freezing. Right. Yeah. Do we continue to hold, or do we chase after oh, it and try and help? We're not chasing after nothing. <laughs> that's nope. Yeah. That's a danger zone. This yeah, is safe a little, zone. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a little bit uh, too much you get for us. Can I have a yeah. that creature? That's got to be kept. It couldn't uh, be a strong you have that for your it's Are you, do you have none. Open? No. I have it in here. No. Oh, open. here. I need no. it. Yeah, open your experience charts. Put that name back in there. That name hasn't can be used. He gave me his true name. Oh. He's. <laughs> He's, yeah. <laughs> I summon the Ashes out of pop. Right. <laughs> King of all not of pop. So, you guys, um, wait. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, um, when the battle kind of dies down and you can no longer really see the elemental, um, he passed uh, beyond a snowdrift that's taller than him. Um, you can hear some roaring every now and then, um, but you don't really, you can't see any of the battle. So okay. let's um, get moving yeah. in, in the direction we need to go. Oh, Proper hey, wait, 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 before we do, game. before we do, we need to help Relican. I can't fly because my sister made me go to the I drop her. iceberg. <laughs> you drop her? Mm hmm. Poor yep. Raylan. You drop your sister? Yep. Where were you at when you dropped her? I was. Ah. Here. Okay, she like... falls to the ground. Be nice. Be nice? Be nice. Look what happened. You got me hurt. I didn't get you hurt. Yeah. If you weren't. Within ten feet of that thing, yeah, but you it would have been fine. A fireball in front of it, it wouldn't have gotten pissed off. I, I did it to help him. Oh, that didn't. That I think it scared him. <clears throat> How can anybody tell when trees are afraid of fire? Well, he's not a tree. He's a he's an iceberg. I totally imagined an an ice tree this entire time. <laughs> It was an iceberg. <laughs> He's a big iceberg. And uh, you cast a fire near him. And he, I mean, fire and ice, kind of opposite. Um. Yeah. They work. I need to get near fire. Okay, you do that. Let's, uh, I step away from the circle. Okay. And, uh, gather some wood. Start a fire. Alright, so you find an area to start a fire. There's yeah. fireplaces in some of the houses. Oh, I don't know. If there's, a, if there's a fireplace in the hotel, I'll forget to start it in here. Okay. Um, um, you don't find a fireplace in the hotel, but you find a burn barrel outside of it. Though. Oh, that'll work just fine. And you make a hobo fire. Yep. Um, uh, James and Carter come back from Fred Mart again, and he says, Look what I found! Hot dogs! <laughs> You can see where they have cart like cut them out of the the, the freezer. He's like, we can have a root weenie roast. Do they say hobo hot dogs on the package? <laughs> <laughs> hobo hot. I mean hobo <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what? What a bag of wieners. What? What a bag of dicks. Yes, they say hobo hot dogs. I almost spit that out, sorry. Uh, and it says, uh, Division of Coalition Food Enterprises. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I mean, they're not tacos, but oh well. Um, hey, they'll, they'll, uh, fry, they'll fry up if we can get them thawed out. I'm going to gather the people from the trailer and put them inside the hotel. Or the people from the Bluebird bus, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We were burst. It has, okay, you you uh, basically pull the bus up next to the hotel because yeah. it can't 
The bus can't fit in the casino. Yeah. It, it can't get in there. So you pull it up to the back of the hotel. We'll use that as the bus for now. I'm going to have to print the bus. And it, it's at the back of the hotel. Um, you leave the people out. It's actually warmer in the Bluebird bus than in the hotel itself. Oh. Well, it's if there's a heater. Yeah. Then, then, but you got to leave the diesel on. Warmer in there than the hotel. I can see it. Looks like we got a good defensible area for the night. Yep. Yep. Are we wanting to push on, or I mean, it's two, about two p.m. Uh, it's probably uh, too late to push on. Yeah, I don't want to get caught out and about if the knockar do jump us. The knockar. Are all over. They're all over. And and he was going south. The elemental? He's going north. North. God damn it. Are you high? Huh? Yes, but, high? but he was headed northeast. <laughs> the best thing I ever heard of son ask his mom. When he was done. <laughs> he did. He did tor He did uh, fall off to the east when he was done. Okay. Right. So, yeah. We stay here the night and we can push out tomorrow. I know. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of preparations, but hey, I'd rather have a waste of preparations than be dead. Right. Yep. True. Agreed. We can defend this spot tonight, and during the daytime they won't move. And if, if we can make it to where we need to go in, so like 10 miles from here, I, I figure we might be able to make it there during the daytime, and then we can find us another defensible position for the night there. Right. Right, so the other thought is, um, I mean, that elemental did some pretty good damage to them during the daytime here. Uh, nighttime might let them regroup. There's that one breach point though. When is uh, in the sewers? When is uh, <coughs> nightfall? around 6, 7 o'clock. Kind of a weird area, though. Because we were, we were supposed to be heading into the spring. But uh, this ley line, you know, it's messing with the weather. Yeah, and probably the whatever that creature was, too. Yeah. Um, Alright, so we can make a path for the carts in the bus by using the tank and dropping the the pusher on the front right. and just push a path. We could feasibly make it there in 10 hours. Make it there in 4 hours. To where we need to go. The mountains? Yeah. 4 hours through the snow? <laughs> we did have a hard time with the vehicle, but I mean it's possible. I mean that's all the only way we could do it. I mean because we either we either go or we stay and let them regroup. So, I mean which is the the best option? They're both kind of crappy on the back end. It's their call. I say we stay. If they regroup, we have a better chance. Even we have a better chance with what defenses we have here of possibly taking them out. All right. Going from the direction they come from. And yeah, what about you, Asclepius? What's your vote? You said we were doing um, this democratically, uh, right? Yep. Uh, I think we should we should wait till morning. Wait till morning. Mm -hmm. Rowan. Looks like we're waiting till morning. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's two. Waits. One. Go. I have to vote no. with Dr. Asclepius. You, you don't get to vote. Sorry, <laughs> 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 you don't get to um, vote. Yeah, yeah, I get one no, vote. I'm that's it. Stay. Stay, so three. Uh, Naz? Uh, vote. Wait, wait till morning. All right. I mean, that's the majority, so it doesn't really 
I mean, Lightfoot yeah. probably would say stay too. I think she she fell asleep in the middle of the snow over there making snow angels. She uh, <laughs> <laughs> she had she she used a lot of her energy today. Yeah, she did. Let's help her up to a room. Uh, hey, 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 guys, uh, is it all right if I come inside now? <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Uh, I'm a uh, I'm up on the roof and it's, it's freezing. I don't, I don't have a jacket. I don't have anything. Can I come inside? My, my, my lips are bleeding. <laughs> Please. Frozen? Yeah. Come inside. All right. Uh, well, at least uh, have somebody relieve you for your watch. All right. Uh, you, you do need to keep somebody um, on the top floor. Uh, I'd like somebody first. with a sniper rifle. I'll take the first watch. Yeah. Hey, Bubba. I tried to, uh... Make enough fire to keep everybody warm. Okay, so they found 40 packs of, of hot dogs. Of those hobo hot dogs. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. rations. Uh, so you guys are able to use those or, or keep them on ice. Yes, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's freaking cold. They also found... Uh, 70 cans of various frozen juices. Cool. They gotta be added to water, though. Mm -hmm. What you smelling? Awesome. I'll put them down in our <coughs> inventory. Alright. Um, so Yay! Yeah. Mm -hmm. All I see is a head. <laughs> For more friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the dark, ready to pounce. So, um, oh, look at that puppy. Is so, that a new uh, puppy? I'm, it's the same old puppy. Oh, he looks different. He's just getting bigger. Oh, yes. All right, so you guys start to basically uh, you settle down in the hotel for the night. <coughs> yep. Um you secure with the amount of people you have you can secure the fourth floor are you moving the people from the bus into the hotel or are you yes. having them stay in there yeah, yeah we're moving them from the bus to the hotel okay what floor are you going to have them stay on um well probably everybody needs to stay on the second floor because it's probably not iced over uh, yeah right it may be cold but it'll be warmer on the second floor than it would be on the first yeah, floor. Yeah, so the, the north tower actually the has, um, the windows are intact. Uh, on the south tower, uh, the I windows, every other window is pretty much broken out somehow. So, north tower. Okay. That so way, everybody in the windows are closed. So you keep them on the second floor in the north tower. Uh, they all bring their sleeping bags and their bedding up, and um, you're, you guys are able to... Uh, find there's an old boiler in the basement. Kick it on. That uh, go ahead and roll a mechanic, uh, any kind of mechanical skills that you have. Let me just take that out, pull that up real quick. Uh, you can add five percent to your your roll because the techno wizard could assist you. I want down. And anybody up, James can assist you too, so that's 10% taken off, well, taken off your roll. Um, Nanise has telemechanics. Yeah, that's your roll. This is an old boiler. Um, I mean, technically it still works on, tel like, but, I mean, you know what's wrong with it. So she adds 10%. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, you shouldn't have any problem getting it getting it to work unless you roll like a, a 90 or above. I rolled a 2. A I think 2? Trying to get to the yeah. Second. You guys get it. Uh, it's actually under under the uh, snow level. Um, it's only about 52 degrees underground. <laughs> um, and it just takes a little bit of elbow grease and some work and you, you get it uh, you get it stoked up. It's, a, it's, an, it's an old uh, um, kerosene boiler. Cool. So we uh, 
get it fired up and then shut everything off except for the second floor. Yeah, it has a 200 gallon kerosene tank oh. under under there. Nice. Awesome. You guys get it uh, lit, um, and you're able to. It's kind of an old system that there's not shut off valves everywhere. Oh, it's just running through straight through pipes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, straight through pipes and radiators. Okay. Yeah, pipes and radiators. You'd have to shut it off and add valves in. No. But you don't have the resources right now. Totally so good. you kind of you uh, set the building. Uh, yeah. The building starts slowly coming up to a, a warm enough temperature. Um, it takes a couple hours, uh, but then it's, mm. it's comfortable for the night. Um, uh, the kerosene heater also goes to uh, each of the little kerosene radiators have like a little built-in like stove tops on top of them and which can be there are little valves that allow the heat to go to those yeah we can, we can cook and they, yeah and they can be cooked on that however uh the hobo hot dogs are being cooked pretty well over the uh the, the dumpster fire you made yeah um somebody had found a grill uh in one of us in the, probably at the blacksmiths and you guys are making some hobo hot dogs Made from 100% hobos. 100% hobos. Remember that? Girl Scouts cookies? Are these made with real Girl Scouts? Scouts? I think that was Girl Adam's Scouts. family. Yes, it was. <laughs> For my favorite line. So, uh, who is taking first watch? Well, as Me. Is, is taking the first watch upstairs, and I'm going to take the first watch downstairs. Okay. Oh. So... You guys are on, and who's next after that? We're volunteers. I will. Rowan will. So, first watch is Asclepius and Newcomb, and then Rowan, and anybody else? Wilson. Wilson, and oh, then... you ready to get punched again, then? And then, uh, y'all, y'all, you're doing it in different places. Yeah. Uh, what? Michael Sia yeah. yeah. oh, oh. will take the mid-watch, I guess, with anybody in particular? Nobody? Okay. Who will take the le- the other next watch? How about... I can take the next one. Morphin and Jolene? Okay. Absolutely. We're battle buddies. Battle buddies. Yep. Battle buddies. Okay, so... The uh, first group, I need you bo- oh, both to roll a d6. Oh my goodness. Here it comes. Yeah. D6. Here we go. I roll a So, your watch <laughs> is from basically um, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And it, it goes pretty smooth. Uh, the sun starts setting at about 7.23, um, and, and then it's dark after that, uh, because the, the Rocky Mountains are pretty damn high. So, <laughs> you should get the cat. The cat's eating his ass on the, on the uh, open screen there. There you go. Go for it, man. Our cat always, always fucking eating his ass on our table there. Mm. Get it, boy. He loves you. <laughs> He's an He's better with an audience. He is. He's yeah. better with an audience. <laughs> <laughs> and so the second group is Rowan and Wilson. You guys can both roll with these six. One. A one? One. And a one. Okay. Your first half of your um, watch, which is uh, from eight to ten, it's it's smooth. Um, but about fifteen minutes, so about ten fifteen, um, you both roll perception. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We're in trouble now. Nine. Oh, no, because I'm asleep. 18 for the rowing. 
Did you roll one D on I that? Did. On that um, I don't know why. There it goes. It's just taking a little while to, to, to upload. I don't know why the name isn't showing up. i got to fix that. So, you, um, you're, you're on the fourth floor, kind of looking out a window. Mm -hmm. um, and you think you see something. Something over by about a, a block and a half to the east and a little bit north. It's past your, it's, it's outside the ice barrier mm -hmm. realm over by the general store. Does it look like it's stopping or just? Um, you know, you just saw it was like, like, like something, like a light, like something was light, a lighter area, like maybe somebody has a flashlight out that way. Um, but you saw something yeah. for a oh. moment. It looked like it went from one building to another. And it was, uh, it was a lighter spot. It, it just was out of the corner of your eye. And where did you say it was? A block to the east. So mm -hmm. it's right about here. Okay. From the hotel. Um, about, about here, actually. Okay. Between the general store and the, uh, the uh, blacksmith. So I'll radio um, Wilson. He's actually just on the other side of the room. Oh, I thought he was looking downstairs. Looking out. Looking okay. out. Oh, are you downstairs? Um, no, I think. I'm okay, good. so I you're not you were upstairs. Oh. You're both upstairs. Oh, okay. Then I thought he was downstairs, so I'll I'll tap his shoulder. <laughs> you walk over and tap <laughs> his shoulder. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey. Keep your eyes out. I think I just saw something. Uh, all right. I'm gonna switch to thermal imaging on my. On your gun, and yeah. start looking around. Okay. Yeah. So he starts looking off to the the west. He's covering this area of the hotel. Yeah. No, I know. And then I'll. This one too. Over oh, where right. I saw. So you go ahead and roll perception. One. Nine. You like looking? Mm, yeah, you don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. over there. Uh, I don't see anything. Yeah. Keep on guard. Okay. Can I make another perception? If you may. Thank you. <laughs> Twenty. A nat twenty? Mm. No, not a nat twenty. Um, you're you're looking over in the area and you don't see anything in particular. I mean, you got a good perception mm. roll, but it doesn't mean that you saw anything. Right. Um, okay. you don't see anything um, lit up or anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Well then, um. But you still I'll have just, just a. You're starting to get at least a, a bad feeling. Seeing magic. A bad feeling. Seeing magic. All right. There's something over there. Something, some magical, something magical over that way. It's behind like a building. You can't quite see it, but there's something has a magical aura. Hey, John. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? Where are we going? I, I, I'm pretty sure I see something. It's radiating magic. I can see magic. Oh. So, come on. Okay. So, you guys go down the stairs. You, you go, you open the door and you go down the fire escape. It's, it's actually quicker than going to the window. 
start heading down the ridge. And you guys will then use your vantage point of height. You get down to the ground floor and you just cross the street. You know, this probably isn't a very good idea. Okay, so John Wilson, roll a perception. All right. Sixteen. Roll a dodge. Okay. Ah! <laughs> As you cross over to the oh my god, you cross over towards uh, the general store and you go into the alley between the general store and the um, blacksmith shop. Um, something fires a purple blast out of the blacksmith shop. And he fires at you. What'd you get? 18. 18! Ass! Did they wake anybody up on their way out? Or no, they, they did not. We're all sound. They did not. Okay. Not, they didn't even say a flippin' word. You see nope. this creature right here. Um... Pop out, out a window right there as you guys are. Uh, here's John Wilson. I don't have a character for Rowan yet. Mm -hmm. We have not built one for Dwarven Forge. And we'll use this for Rowan since Lightfoot is not with us right now. And fires at the juicer. Um, you dodge out of the way. Um, and the purple energy smashes into the general store area, uh, crumbling some of the, turn the ice black and crumbling some of the building away. Oh, God. So that is on 22. John Wilson, your action. Uh, I will fire my forearm grenade launcher. You fire your forearm grenade launcher. Uh, he is literally eight feet in front of you. Oh. And you fire. Roll to strike. Uh, 19. A 19's a strike. The creature does not dodge. You see it does have that quick um, dodging action that you have. Yeah. But you hit it. Uh, it explodes all over it. Okay. So that's 30 points of damage, plasma damage. We're all awake now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's plasma. It's plasma, so oh. it's not that loud of an explosion. I'd probably sleep right through it. But I would like you guys to roll a perception. Post the hip shit. 19! 12. 9. Ooh. Uh, 16. I got a 12. Now, just where have you been? I've been sleeping in the, on the second floor. You're uh, sleeping on the second floor? Yeah, with all his harem. With your harem? Yeah. You're not in your bus area with your harem? He's out. Yeah, a nice out. large king bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <No. laughs> um, I would just like you to use one character for this okay. battle. Same with uh, Rowan, yeah. just for ease of, of play. I guess I'll use the Scott, what'd you get? I got a 19. Okay, so you do wake up, Scott. Uh, you wake up, Morphin. What did you get? A twelve. You do not wake up, um, but you are all sleeping in the area. Anybody ha who has a, um, a 
15 or higher, except there's a negative 4 because you guys are sleeping to your perception. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, I anybody who got a 15 or higher wakes up. The explosion is only like a pop sound and then a pfft. But that sound is kind of muffled from the area that it was uh, shot in. Um, but Asclepius did wake up. Anybody else wake up? No. Okay. So just Asclepius. You pop awake, Asclepius. I'm listening. Okay. You're listening. <laughs> um, you may roll a perception, though, also, uh, because the plasma does cause a bright light in, this, in, the, in the area. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I see seven. nothing. A seven? So yeah. you, you're you in a laying position. You wake up because you heard, thought you heard something, but you're right. facing the wrong direction, so you don't see the, the white hot flash. Right. Um, right. We'll go back into, so the, we are on percent number 22, and then we'll go to 23, which nobody is at. <coughs> We're going to go down to, it looks like 18 is the next action. Rowan, what did you get? Seven. Is, is that with your bonuses? Yes, that's with my. I got a three. Oh, you can roll uh, roll over me. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Cat, man. <laughs> He's like, I got to show. He changed positions just so you can see better. Show, so everybody on that side can see him lick himself better. Okay. Um, now no. I got a five. <laughs> I got a twelve. Okay, a twelve plus your bonuses. Nope. Uh, I got a nine. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any access for the So you got a tw what? what? Uh, I don't have edit access for classroom episode yet. Edit access? Yeah. I can't do mine. Okay. I'll fix that later. Dude. I, I mean, who knows what's wrong. So, um, John Wilson, it's your action, and it's also the other thing's action. However, you guys... The explosion brought the attractions of the others that are in the oh, no. area. Good thing I'm still oh, sleeping. Oh, So, this, we're going to say this is a building right here. Okay. And that one's on top of it. This one comes around this corner. And you guys are not aware of that one. Once I see those two... You don't see them. Oh, I don't... You I have don't. not seen them yet. All right. So, it is, but it is your action. Alright, I'm gonna... If you want to see them, you can take a perception. Right. Which is an action. Yeah, um, I'm gonna... I already have my sniper out, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna shoot him with my sniper. You have your sniper rifle? Yeah. One-handed? Yeah. It's a rifle. Okay. You can't do well, yeah, it. but I just shot my... Arm. Right. So you right. You put your other hand on your rifle and you oh, fire. Okay. Sorry. For better. Sorry, I wasn't. So which you're firing at the front guy. So go ahead and roll the strike. He's gonna auto dodge with a nat twenty. Oh, I got no clue. Um, he auto dodges behind the building. Your shot vaporizes a hole in the wall of that building and then it goes through to the, the back side of that building. Um, okay. I heard that. At that no, time, the creature, um, <laughs> all of a sudden, from the window, just this spray, this misty spray comes out into the alleyway. 18. And hits both of you. Uh-oh. Oh, no! So, I got a 21 to dodge. A 21 or to no, dodge. Just 20. A 20? Yeah. Ah. So you auto dodge backwards out of the way. What are you doing? As this mist of stuff just comes out. Can I dodge? It takes your, your first action. That's but fine. Yes, you can. Okay. And you do have to get a 20 or higher. It has a plus 2 to hit. It is a 20 total. Modified. Oh, okay. Let's 
the deck. <laughs> Not enough. That's oh, no. six. That's six. Okay, you take 46 of an acid um, oh. attack. That is going to hurt. And it's uh, eight points. Eight points of acid oh. spray Ow. just hits all over your body. Um, you have environmental body on? Yes. It does fuck with your magic. Okay. No. Yeah. Nope. I'm wearing it. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the... <laughs> it doesn't change very often. No, I know. But I always say, oh, no, I'm the the old coalition. How much damage? Has she taken any damage since we left? Giles? I believe last uh, game there was damage to everybody except for me. But, um, okay. What's I about to say? It was, it was full. Right. So left. 80 minus 22. So keep her out track of that. Okay. And, um, yeah. So this spray, eight points of damage. Uh, you can, uh, Take half, uh, what do you have left? 62, so your armor hurt text is a three of that, so it only takes five points. Uh, as bits of the metal start eating away. And you also see some of the cement that the building is made out of, some of the ice is eaten away. And that is on 22. Oh, sorry, that is on initiative 18. Now we're on initiative uh, 16. And this okay. one that came around the corner takes a, a shot at John Wilson. It is a, considered an energy attack. You are in no bonuses, negative four because of its uh, combat ability. All right. And go ahead. What'd you get? I jumped right into it. So basically what happened was that th the first one did its its uh, uh, spray attack and you, you dodge backwards and the this other one shoots you. <clears throat> Four. 66 damage. So 10, 20, 26 points of damage from a magical attack that kind of uh, uh, starts uh, breaking down your armor. That goo just starts, it starts sliding off. And that is on initiative 16, on initiative 15. Looks like nobody goes on initiative 14. It looks like two go. Uh, so John Wilson and Enemy number one, go again. All right. Um, I'll let you go first while enemy number one actually takes a slash at uh, Rowan with its right. blade. <coughs> when it does that, can I? Nope. Okay. You need to call your action. All right. I rolled an uh, I rolled an eleven for um, my uh, initiative, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna take an action. Okay. So. Uh, you need to roll another, basically a perception, so that you can see what's going on. Oh, no, I rolled a one. You know you no, woke. No, I didn't. Yeah, you yeah. you woke up. You you've stood up by now. You're looking out the windows because you know you heard something. Um, right. Their energy weapons don't make noise. Uh, right. And neither does his. But. Now you saw a flash of light, but you can't quite okay. see what's going on. You can't see people or anything from so where I'm you're at. So I'm still trying to figure um, out what's going on. You could try to go outside, maybe, um, and get a better view. Uh, step out onto... So, I don't have this made, but these this uh, porch actually wraps around the whole building. Right. 
about it. Um, so I've, I basically still trying to get a, uh, a handle on what's going on out Yeah, you think you saw another flash of light, but... It, and it, it would be from the east a little bit, but you just you just right. can't see stuff. <clears throat> well, yeah, and, and, and I figure that the look the uh, people on watch should have picked up on this too. So. Right. Um, what floor are you on? <laughs> um, hang on. Let me roll the dice for. Or, yeah. Okay. Uh, third floor. Third floor. Okay. Yeah. So you. You know that the last people on watch were you guys, right? And it, you had one person on the fourth and one on the first. Mm -hmm. So you look around, nobody on the third is watching. Okay, so th we're now on, what What did I say, 14? Mm -hmm. So, John Wilson, who are you attacking? Um, the guy that I was attacking. The first one, okay. So, I'm going to, I do have a quick way, so I'm going to run out this guy and try to cut him in half. You... Seventeen to strike. So you come through. Um, you kind of leap over a little barricade wall. It, the wall had fallen out to just a little four foot area. You jump over there and you slash at him. He goes to parry you with one of his arms, but fails. The other, the other one is slashing at Rowan. All right. Um, Do you have hand to hand? You can parry. Yeah. With hand yes. to hand, which is a free action. Okay. Instead of dodge. Like, you couldn't parry a spray attack, but... Right. Roll to parry. Okay. Uh, 22 points. So, you strike it with 22 points of damage. His armor does damage reduction. Oh, yeah. Okay. God, this pen does not work. That? Six. Six to parry. You do not parry. That blade comes down upon you and slashes you for. Oh, that die went around the back of here. That's a two. So nine plus his strength damage. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> seven. So 16 points of damage. Uh, that is damage reduction to your armor, though. Yes. So I think you. Deflect five left. So you take 11 points to your armor as a gash comes across the, the front, kind of pushing you back a little bit. At that same point, so that's one, one, Wilson, Wilson. Uh, that's all that is done. So now we're on 12. First action is for Rowan, but you used it as a dodge. I can be nice and take it off your, your last attack instead. So, you okay. can go 12. Um, also, number 2 is going at the same time. Uh, Separate Sentrum. Separate Sentrum is the one in front of you. Yes. Number 2 fires at John Wilson again. This time with an 18 natural. And it has a plus 4 to strike. Uh, it's got 20. A 20 total? Uh, not a nat 20. No. Okay, so you get hit. Okay. 66 damage. 13. Except for Centrum. So it's not a crit strike. It's a magical attack. The creature um, is confused as it tries to parry this like physical attack, except it does damage its arm. Um, go ahead and roll damage. And it actually passes through to its body. And roll damage for John Wilson. 25. 25, oh shit. 25 points of damage and it's magic damage so it's not damage reduction. Rowan did that. So now it is... Uh, John Wilson to... 17 points of damage. From the, the, the energy rifle or weapon. 
Um, that is considered a magic attack. And that is number two. All right. Twelve. Twelve. Eleven. Scott, you can roll another perception. Yes, you can do other things. There are other people sleeping on this floor with you. Um, 18. Uh, ah. With that perception, you know what's going on, and you can now see flashes of energy and magic over in this area. Only and thing learn. is, you have no way to... You can't fire from this area. If you were on the fourth floor, you'd have the leverage. There's some dumpsters and some old burnt-out cars that are in the way. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do a radio announcement. So you're radioing right alert. people, radioing alert. Okay. Yep. Everybody with a radio, go ahead and roll a twenty-sided die for perception. Um, you guys are uncomfortable and sleeping in your armor because you are in a safe environment. Twelve. Morphin, what'd you get? I don't have a. You weren't uh, getting a ra Oh no. shit! I, well, I got your little your little baby thing right here. And, oh wait, can I squish it? What? You got the butterfly. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the butterfly! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's right. Butterflies in the sky. Um, yes. Uh, your your butterfly familiar actually um, lands on you um, this round also because it. Oh. We're going to take a short break real quick to let uh, light put in. It looks like she, she popped up Hooray! here. Okay, so it's going yeah, go to gonna fuck up the cameras for a moment. Yay! But we're going to go ahead and do that and see if it's working. All right, it is working. I would just like right, to announce let's go to break real quick. that if we die, it's your fault.
Yay! Terry's back. All right, we're back. We got everybody back now. Um, I think Norfolk's on uh, taking a, uh, a bathroom break, uh, but we were just doing that to fix the cameras, but everybody's on. Yay! That makes me happy. We're glad to have Lightfoot back. It really sucks yeah. when your healer's down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, <laughs> are you bad. able to do initiative with that, or no? You're not. Well, I'm out, because I rolled a one for perception. Oh, I got a one. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, okay. Oh, so, yeah, to do initiative tracker? Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's see if I can. Um, we need to get another screen for that. <laughs> a touch screen. Though. Initiative. <laughs> yeah, so, uh. Yeah. So you I'm still sleeping. Okay. So, uh, some of them might have their earpieces out. You know, maybe Jolene's earpiece fell out. Um, well, some of us have internal microphones and stuff. Oh, in your helmets? They know. In my head. In their heads. I don't have one of those. I have one of those. Oh, one of the con, the jawbone ones? Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. You have a con radio. Yes. That is right. That wakes you right the fuck up, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but they have to be on the same frequency as you. Well, they should be on the same frequency. You set a frequency. Right. But you didn't give him a, them a con frequency. Yeah, they're different. Their radios probably can't even go to that frequency. Oh, well, then we'll be sending another one out from the inside of my helmet. No, no, no. Like, you can switch to their frequency. Right. But they can't switch to yours. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. Right. Like, but how do you know what frequency we're on? Well, Nukem okay. says channel 6 or channel 3, Cause channel 17. Because I, I asked Nukem. Yeah. yeah so I, I, I've been talking to him on my... Um, my uh, uh, con, con, uh, my uh, headset for the armor. Yeah, I so. forgot about that. Holy crap! He's, yeah, you gotta yeah. be awesome. I'm the only. Then I'm, I'm the only one that has one of those besides the fairies. Actually, the fairies don't even have one, do they? No. no. They were never given one. Oh, I'm badass. <laughs> yeah, no, they were never given one because nobody ever thought to give the fairies one. Well, no. that would have been the first thing I thought. I know. Kind of we've been, we've still been like, trying to figure out the radio you know, for remember the we, small radios. We didn't have a smaller radio at the time, so. Right. Otherwise, they would have had one. So, um, you guys, for those of you who are awake, <laughs> can roll <laughs> into combat. Hey, what up, Nelfrin? Morfrin? Am You're, I awake it, a with a 10? You are blurred no, out. Um, you have a radio. You don't have a radio. Um, however, your your little uh, uh, familiar actually flew over to you and landed on you, and is crawling on your face and on your nose, and it's telling you, "Wake up! Wake up, my friend! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Is that his butterfly? You must wake yeah, up, butterfly! Wake up, Morphin! Morphin!" Mom, it shits on your eye. You. <laughs> it, shits, it shits on your no, eye. It's, it's <laughs> licking your eyelid. Um, if you wake up, um, I'm giving you a plus four for it. Mom, is that you? It wakes you up. <laughs> There's danger. You must wake up. You must wake up, my friend. Danger? What danger? Danger. It, it, gets, it, it, it flies up and flies back over to Asclepius and lands on you. What kind of danger is he in? <laughs> <laughs> the best radio ever. <laughs> the kind? The kind that can kill you. So you hear, the kind that will kill you. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my... Uh... My energy rifle, I'm going to play. All right. So at this point, you've woken up 
Um, and you also know that other people are getting up and moving around the room, getting like I'm situated. Crazy. Lightfoot. I'm headed downstairs. Uh, you have woken up also um, from the radio blaring in your ear. Dr. Asclepius has said that there's danger, that people need to get up. Something's going on to the east. What's going on, Doc? Um, we got some energy fire outside. I'm going to assume that they've gotten into it with the watch. Ooh, really so everybody needs, everybody needs to tell me their initiative. Yeah. Like okay. it. Eleven. <laughs> everybody tell... Uh, uh, Call up your initiative, please. Uh, Lightfoot first. Oh. I did. Uh, come on. 10, 12, <coughs> 3, 12. Is it, okay. Okay. Uh, Michael Sia. 23. <coughs> Raylikin. Uh, Reroll uh, under 8. Or 8 and under. Okay. Wow. Raylikin's fucked. Oh, there she goes. What's <laughs> your bonus? Four. Okay, so she got a 23 also total. Her okay. wing has unbought by now. It's been hours. Okay. Um. She was sleeping on the fucking heater. <laughs> in, between, in, in between the little folds. Oh. 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 You want Carter's? Alright, Steve's is 11. Donald's is 22. <coughs> uh, yeah, Carter's. So I'm going to do Carter and James as one. I'm going to roll both theirs and divide it by two. Okay. Uh, because uh, James is being a sniper, but teaching Carter to be a squatter. Okay. Trying to, at least. So 11, 13, so 12 for the And we're just going on James's uh, um, number of attacks. Okay. Well, so James got down here. He's four attacks. Carter's got four. Yeah. So Carter is uh, giving him a plus one to strike as a squatter. Okay. Cool. Um, Jolene. Sixteen, but I'm still sleeping. I got a one. Uh, <laughs> um, you actually. Wake up, take three off your initiative, though, for your roll. Aww. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to sleep through it, didn't you? I did. I got a 13 then. So you could die in your sleep, though. That would suck. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, that was better. I got a 12. Okay. Oh, I'm awake. <laughs> John Wilson, did you give her that shotgun, or did you keep that for yourself? Oh, I kept it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Damn, John Wilson. He stole it from me. Where was it? He didn't steal it from you. He didn't have it in your hand. <coughs> I stole it from him. got that pistol. I just have the pistol. Yep. All right. So we should probably finish the first round. Yeah. Because there's attacks that people would have been would have had. Um, at least uh, we'll do John Wilson. Yeah. Uh, by, the, by the time I figure out where everybody's at, then... Unless you guys just want to yeah. re-roll your initiative and, and start new. I'm, 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 we'll just, I'll just start quick. Just quick and finish the... Okay. Round. So, uh, John Wilson, we're on on 10 with John Wilson. Enemy well, number 1, enemy number 3, and 4 get to go first, though, because they haven't gone yet. Um, enemy number 3 is... Does a power... Uh, Wait, I heard it's 12. Otter even. Even. Oh. There's a power jump next on round. to you with a nat 20. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I like, but they're, they're going to finish their current round. So he comes down with a, a power jump with his two blades, <laughs> skewering you. Uh -huh. uh, so you can also roll carry. All right. Oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I got a three. Total? Yeah. Ah. Okay, the creature comes down upon you with its uh, 
power it's power attack. Um, doing um, woo, a D6 times 10 damage. Uh, it's a double blade attack mm -hmm. uh, plus its strength. And I will I will roll its strength right now instead of. Wait, can I give you my reroll? What? Can I give you? Actually, can I use my reroll to dodge? You want your reroll as a Donald dodge? I don't want to die. Yes, you may. <laughs> Remember, you can ask the GM to be the re-roller, also. So, um, what did you get total? Um, nine. Or, no, seven. Oh, yeah. Um, well, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> so, the, the creature comes down. I claim the shotgun. Does 56 points of damage. Oh, my God. MDC. MDC? I'm dead. Times my, two. My arm breaks and I'm dead. Does he have any essences? No. Is he blooded? No. No. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's not blooded? Those two blades come down between your shoulders, um, like uh, in a V, and separate your head from your body. Uh -huh. um, as John Wilson's head comes rolling off in front of Rowan. Boop. <gasps> Sorry, that could have been Rowan. I wish it was Rowan. Remember, healer fixing. Remember, Jolene, you do have your bennies you can use. Please, please, but and change. You can change what just happened. You gotta use a Benny, and you you basically tell me what happened instead. So, uh, Jolene's been a subscriber and a uh, someone who's been donating to the cause for about 17 months. So she's accumulated four Bennies, and Bennies can be used to change a story. She'd have to spend one right now to change it right now, or she could use. Um, Three to change the last hour of the, the show and tell us how it went along. I think she should just use one personally if she wants to. Yeah. You don't have to use them to save a character. You can just hoard them for yourself. <laughs> but basically, what you have to tell me is, so this this uh, you you have to spend your Benny and you have to tell us what actually happened here. It could be anywhere from. You know, the thing fumbles, or to possibly it hit some other creature. I'm gonna spend the penny. Okay, so you spend the penny. What what has gone on? What happened as this thing has leaped off the roof? It's doing a double attack, coming down with a nat 20. And that's gonna be hard to change, though. No, it's not. It's going... It's a Benny. <laughs> yes. You just have he's to going all. to he's going to jump off the roof with his sword. He's gonna to totally miss Wilson. Right. He's gonna land on the ground and his blades are gonna like crumble. So they're gonna snap? So they're gonna snap. Okay, so the creature leaps down before he lands right in front of John Wilson, but the power and the impact of him hitting his okay. blades, they snap off. The creature screams out as as Noctar blood pours from its natural weapons. It's enraged. Oh, oh my God! John Wilson, yes, you. And I hope you he runs saw away. that happen. Oh my God! I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, thank you Give for using a, a Benny. <laughs> so, uh, number four goes. He takes a blast, and he's going to... Uh, do you want a lot or even? Oh, even. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he takes a blast at John Wilson from the oh, rooftop. Shit. Right when he's going, Not I'm alive, much. I'm alive. And John Wilson ducks, I'm alive, I'm alive. The, the blast goes right over his head, singeing the top of his hair um, and uh, destroying a, a, a poor little half-eaten or, or deer that's walking by. <laughs> Aww. We don't like ears. <laughs> they can't be from, and they live all over the place. So number four is done. That was on initiative ten. There's also number five that comes around this corner and sprays acid down the hallway. So he has a. Um, is my measuring tape over there, Jamie? Awesome. Can you pass that down along? I need to get an, a gaming measuring tape, not this big ass construction shit. <laughs> so he's got a. Yeah. There we go. What do you do? Um. He's spraying mist. You see him <coughs> open his mouth. Dodge. You dodge. Roll a 20-sided dice. Get a one. You're an asshole, you know that? Pumped. He's all pumped today now. <laughs> you are the worst. He just wants to kill everybody tonight. What'd you get? No, just, just, just a three on the die. <laughs> a few of us. But it's a plus one, so I got a four. Yay. He only got a two to strike. <laughs> You, your character actually figures out if you have to step forward and duck down, and it sprays over your head. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Okay, so that was on, on 10. So now it looks like next initiative is John Wilson on 6, number 1 on 6, number 2 on 6, number 5, and 4 on 6. Yeah, after I saw that, wow, I'm done. Fun. I'm going to pick up Jackie, and I'm going to run back to the building. Uh, so you... Run into the spray. Oh. <laughs> well. Taking 12 points of damage. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Acid right. damage. My Ow. Armor, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Half of that, actually. Oh. Well, actually, my armor isn't looking too good. Yeah, yeah and I don't... Is it environmental? Are you using the coalition armor? Oh, no, I have my exosome. So. Okay, right. So. Good. Yeah, it starts sizzling um, just the little bits, because it's ceramics and metals c combined. Only the metals are, like, burning away. Okay. All right, so, yeah, I'm, get, I'm picking up Jackie and I'm running. Okay. You go to grab Jackie, and number one tries to execute you by chopping your head off. Yeah. Oh, poor John Wilson. Oh, a 19 to strike. Plus three. No! 22 oh. points. 22. What? To dodge? You got another nat 20, you fool. You liar. You did not. What? I can't did you? I Two in a row. Look at it. Um, it's right there. <laughs> so, so that one you dodged. Um, but number three turns around and sprays you with acid. Ow. <laughs> You can dodge yeah. all attacks. What was that? Stupid you? acid. Uh, 17. Whoa, 17. Sorry. Let's see what he got. Uh, you you grab Jackie and you use her as a meat shield <laughs> and dodge out of the way. She gets sprayed for six points of damage. <laughs> and um, it's a good thing we're still in the building. Huh? As you're you're moving fast, so you step out here, and this guy actually gets his attack too. And he um, uh, runs up and tail, tries to tail, use his tail to grab around your legs and, and grab a hold of you. Uh, Sixteen. You leap over him, <laughs> and you're running. You guys hear, "Ah, I'm alive!" Ah! All this screaming as um, you're now aware. You can actually see. Him running yeah. out from this building, okay. carrying. Well, I'm I'm on her. the I'm on the bottom floor. Right. I'm on the third floor, and I'm uh, got my 
rifle out the window looking through the scope. Yeah, mine, he, mine is night the 13, vision. so... At this point, he's running with her... What's your speed? 70-something. So you're running actually, like, half speed, a little bit more than half. Uh, Maybe 50. We'll, we'll say you're running at 50. All right. And then these things all start running after you. Help me! Please help me! Please, <laughs> he's, somebody! He's screaming, help me, as these, you see these... Well, you can only see four right now, but they come. They're, they're just running after him. <laughs> All right, Jackie, okay. throw something at him. No, are we keeping these Jackie's initiatives or are we throwing? We can keep those ah, initiatives okay. for you guys. I just need um, John Wilson and Jackie to roll initiative. Is this the new, the new thing? That yeah, we're keeping your guys' as actions. No. <laughs> no. 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 Mine was Why? eleven. John Wilson. Mine's 12. Mine's 12. Right, but we haven't. You, um, oh, I the only one who can re roll is Scott because you took actions. Sorry. Not if that happened. I, you guys, okay, yeah. I, so I 14. Well, 13. That's better. <laughs> so, uh, So number five got a net twenty. And then oh. uh Well of course. Mr. Steen, what is your reroll, please? Uh I got a sixteen with my bonuses. Okay. Got everybody. God, I wish we could change the color of the enemy's lines. So I, I can, can tell where I they can are. Do that. All right, so there's no six. Six is You shall put that on your wish list, sir. Thank you, my friend. Okay. So, top of the initiative, anybody with a nat 20? Other than five. No. So, number five somehow has a initiative. Um, however, he cannot see him. Uh, <coughs> but he can see... <coughs> Anybody on the third floor? Uh -oh. we, no, he can't. <laughs> he, uh -oh. he raises his gun and fires into uh, the third floor. Everyone's on the second floor. Uh, no, except for Steen. Except for oh. Steen. Fires into Steen with a... What are you doing, Steen? I'm dodging. Okay, so you dodge out of the way. Go ahead and roll a dodge. Dodge. Take it off the back of your initiative. Oh, oh. He hit with a 15. Yeah, I know. Um, plus two from the weapon itself. Um, doing its range damage, so it actually less damage than... Uh, 10, 12 points of magic damage. Shut him up, this kid. What kind of weapon is he? Uh, that, uh, oh this, God. uh, Techno Wizard, um, magic yeah. weapon is at arms. Uh, you want me to show him? Here. I'll show one of them to you. Can you see that guy? Yeah. Yeah. There he goes. For the camera. We're yeah. using Tyranids as Noctars. They're perfect. Like, before Tyranids were even out, this is how I describe my Noctars. And I, I fucking love how, like, it's, like... 99 percent yeah <laughs> like it's, it's it's fucking crazy all right so um that's with that his nat 20 action now on 24 he goes um he, he can't do another uh blast yet but he does he is he does move up past that guy and so we're gonna go on 23 Next, I think that is, uh, is it Raylican and Michael, Michael Sia? Sia. Man, the the NPCs all get to go first. <laughs> um, Michael Sia fires his railgun from the second floor. 
um, to hit. Uh, I'm just going to roll um, a d5. If it's a 6, I'm going to re-roll number 5. So this guy that just jumped out in front of the thing is going to get oh, hit goodness. with a um, 2d6. I'm uh, sorry, a 2d4 plasma <coughs> um, round. God, my die. I should probably just... Time for new dice. 19 to strike. He's a player. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was going to say. Yeah. It's max damage. He takes oh. 80 points of damage as plasma strikes into him and blows all around. Starts burning and sizzling his armor. He has no punctures um, to him. No bleeding damage, so his blood is not um, exposed. So he does not take double damage. Um, however, he is severely fucked up because fire is a weakness, so they don't get damage reduction from fire. Even if it's a SDC fire, right? Huh? SDC fire only if it's... Um, if their blood is leaking. Oh. Otherwise, SDC fire won't do anything. I see. So number five, ooh, god dang. Took 80 points from Michael Smith. <laughs> Holy crap, he's messed up. You guys actually see some of his, his, his outer <coughs> plating and armor has burned off. And you can see how it actually comes off in layers. Uh, you think like, uh, Six layers of the armor just have, have burning off instantly and falling to the ground, burning plates of Noctar armor. And underneath that is a less um, a less rigid just body. You just kind of see his the muscles of his of, of his body and stuff like that. So Raylikin is also going to go. She starts casting a magic spell. Um, uh, and on initiative, uh, what, what would that be? It takes her three actions, so on initiative 15, um, it will show up. Oh, I forgot to put myself on the, um, hmm. tells me who, who goes when. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm on there. Yeah. Okay, so Raylikin has gone. Yeah, so the enemies are not showing up on that. I don't know if, yeah. It, it looks like enemy number one shows up. But I don't think there's enough this way for the other ones to show up. Uh, there was. Or go. It hasn't worked for a while. Okay, so uh, next on initiative 19, it looks like 23 is Raylikin, initiative 19 is Raylikin, initiative 20 is Michael Sia, so they, they go again. Oh, Raylikin's still casting. Michael Sia fires uh, another shot towards number 5. And number five is going to use its auto dodge. Uh, he's got a 13 total. Uh, it's a tie to the defender, so he dodges and Michael C. misses. Uh, the next person is going to be, it looks like on 18 is John Wilson. And i got to go back to the tracker. Calculations. The sheet. Where the fuck did it go? Now I can't even find the original sheet. I don't know what just happened. Something fucked up. Are you fixing something right now, Ash? No. Oh, weird. The calculations sheet changed.
this was working tournaments and you fucked it up. All right, so, um, go John Wilson. Uh, haven't made it back yet. Uh, nope. You are right about here now. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. And yeah. they have moved up behind you. They're a little bit slower than you. Mm-hmm. Who's next? Uh, Steen. Yes, sir. And Jolene. Excuse First actions. Plant my grenade. What's that? <laughs> Plant my grenade. A grenade? Rifle, rifle grenade. Um... Uh, there is number one through five. I'm going after the closest one to um, John Wilson. Um, so that would be this. Uh, well, this guy or this guy. Um, remember, uh, this guy's damaged. Pretty good. And I'm going to move to the next one. The one on the right. That guy. Or no? Yeah, that one. Okay. You fire towards him? Yep. And they and they look like they're far enough back where they're not going to be in... Yeah, okay. You know that they can hit you guys with their rifles. Well, no. That's what I was wondering about is the, uh, the radius of the damage to the grenade. Yeah, it's only going to hit him. Yeah, I'm just okay. going to I'm just gonna fix yeah. this one. And then it's it is gone. She's missing. It is on its way. Boom. Weird. It's missing like uh, fucking this. Plus missing three like is columns. 22 to hit. Max damage. Weird. Why is that? Got deleted. Don't know. But uh, if we fix tomorrow, when I come over here, I'm fixing it tomorrow. We're going to lock it down. Okay. It will be new problems so, after that. Can, <laughs> you can't get back to the sheet where you add stuff. Six dice. Is that the tracker? So I hit that, and it's like, oh, it just did something weird. Okay, I found it now. Because i got to look at the enemies. I can't really look at both because the enemies don't show up. Um, so on, what are you going on? Oh, you're, you're on 16, right? Who's that? Me? Yeah. Um, yes, he's on I don't know. Yeah, two of the enemies go also. So you fire your okay. grenade at that. What'd you get? It, he's gonna. Uh, I got a tw- I got a twenty-two. Unnatural. Nineteen. Yeah. Uh, no, nineteen. A nineteen natural. natural. He tries yeah. to dodge. He's got a twenty total and fails. The uh, it oh. detonates and go ahead and do damage. Okay, it should be standby. So he dodged a little bit that way, but it got hit. And that is number one. Two die four times ten feet, so the range. Oh, that's the range. That's not what I wanted. Trying to figure out what the radius of the fire of the plasma grenade. I think it's six feet. Okay, so it's not going to get the other one. No. All right. Okay. All righty then. So uh, six (laughs) die six. uh, Nice. Twenty-five. Nice. That's a big roll. Six die six. Okay, so um, I'll, so number two goes. Number two uh, moves forward and fires a wild strike, um, uh, basically suppressing fire in this area. He doesn't actually see you, Scott. However, if he gets a natural 16 or higher, he does strike you. Oh, shoot. Mm. It gets an 8, hits the second floor, Ah. um, and makes people on the second floor flinch if they're looking out the windows trying to attack. So, you guys see uh, energy slams into the the building near you, and you see... It actually goes right through the building, um, decaying a hole through it. And then there's that black goo kind of coming off of it. Oh. Um, and then also, 
number eight, number five gets to go also on the 16th. Mm. And he, <laughs> number five, um, fucked up. Number five is going to fire at Michael Sia. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Can't have that now. Uh, Michael Sia was, is on... He's on the fourth floor. Oh. The thing fires up at Michael Sia. Yeah, for a two. I mean, should I re-roll that? It's a little bit of skewed. Yeah. Let's be fair. He fires at Michael Sia with an 11 to strike. Um, and Michael Sia dodges. Just <laughs> Ty goes to the defender. Um, he dodges out of the way, using up an action. And we're going to go to initiative 15. Which is uh, Raylican and John Wilson. John Wilson's action. What are you doing? Uh, still running. You're still running? God, you're just running like a bitch. <laughs> I just saw myself die. So you, you run a little bit further. They're also moving in. There's a weird building right here that this thing actually uh, jumps up. And then he's climbing up on there. And what floor are you on, Nick? Oh, I'm on the first floor. Oh, you're on the first floor. Yeah. Okay. So you're on the first floor. Um, I thought the opening we to the... There's one on the, the back and there's one on the front. Okay, well, I'm going to be coming out the one on the front. Oh, okay, so you can't even see them. No, I can't, because that's where the circle's at. Over right there. there. No, thought. the circle's over there, dude. I right. thought we were in a circle of protection. I, I thought it was at the base of the ice. They started right there. Right there? That's where the circle's at, right, right there? there? Yes. Okay. okay. So you're headed over that way. Oh, yeah, because when I come out... These are the only five you see, though. Oh, no, they're all, they'll all be coming in a minute. Ah, will they? <laughs> I'm going to call them. I hope so. Oh, you're going to call them? Oh, yeah. oh fuck. <laughs> so, 15. You moved forward. You're not going to do anything else? No. Okay. And um, Raylican, I think her spell goes off as you are coming out the door. Um, you actually hear, and you can feel things beating on the ice underneath you. And you see the bodies uh -huh. start moving under the ice. Yeah, that's beating, what I was... Beating on the ice. Yeah, I already expected that. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> That's normal. That's <laughs> disgusting. That's normal anymore. Actually, there shouldn't be a whole lot of ice in the hotel because not in the hotel, elephant. right? Not outside the hotel. Um, in the hotel, also around the hotel where the like the heat is is emanating from the building a little bit. It's starting to melt a little bit of the <laughs> ice around. Right. Right. Um. Uh, yeah, especially. Uh, you see there's some steam coming up from some vents in the sewer. Where the, the uh, not the sewer, but where the, the exhaust from oh, the never heater mind. is. Um, what are we on? It looks like we're on, we're on 15. 15, 14. Anybody on 14? Let's check. 14, we got Michael. Yep, Michael. Michael, he used his dodge um, to dodge that energy attack at him. So that I'm just going to take that off. Um, who else? Anybody? Nope. So uh, the bad guy, anybody bad? Steen is on 13. Is on 13. the bad guy? Yay! <laughs> okay, so 13, or it'd be Steen and me. So first actions, 13. Are you first action? Yeah. Um, oh, what's your steam? 
Uh, my speed is 14. Okay, so you actually aren't where I set you. You're a little closer to the door. Back this way. Okay, that's fine. You um, can hear them. They're making hellacious noise. Oh, well, I just I, I make sure that the circles are between me and them. Okay. I run up and uh, yell out at the top of my lungs to the Noctar. Come get some. Okay. So you're yelling, Come get some! And you're running up to the circle, which is... Can I use that as the circle? Yeah. This or this? That, yeah. That, that's appropriate. Yeah. Pretty much. We're gonna... It even fits. Pretty Maybe much. I should cut that down a little bit. Scissors! We'll do that later. <laughs> that's appropriate. That is where the circle's at. You're, you're running up. You move... And I, this is going to take you um, to your next action to be here. Okay. Well, I'm not standing on the circle, but... Right, yeah. but to be close enough yeah. to it. Because uh, I've got a flare in my hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're saying, come get some, motherfuckers. And... And whatever whatever I think would make a knockcar come here. Oh, yeah. Steen, what are you doing? I'm going to... Yeah. Um, stand by. Oh, I rolled a five. Nice. Number four is going to sign you. Oh, I rolled a three. <laughs> okay. I can't help you this time. So sorry. I did not hit. Number four signed you and hit you. What a douche. <laughs> you take... Oh, that's a shitty roll. Yay! That's good for us. Eight, eight <laughs> points of damage. That's magical damage nice. from its nice. rifle. And we're going to move on to initiative 12, it looks like. And it looks like there's a lot of people on 12. Uh, Lightfoot, Carter. Well, Carter's at, turning his action to James. Where's... Okay, Carter's action is James's action. Yeah, so... Um, <coughs> I'll let NPCs go last. Okay. On this round. So, so it would be Lightfoot, Carter, Rowan, and John Wilson. So, Lightfoot, your first action. What are you doing? I... Um, as soon as I heard all that stuff going on, I cast my armor of if in. Right. So, um, so I, I've got my plasma rifle, and I don't know if I'm on the third or the second floor. That's up to you. Which one? Uh, let's go with the third. Okay. So you are hanging out with somebody else was on the third floor too. I thought Scott. Yeah. Oh, Scott. Scott and uh, yeah. Galena's too. Yeah. Okay. Third so, floor. um, I'm. Gonna shoot at whatever's closest Mr. with that plasma gun and see what happens. This, this is Mr. Steen. All right, who are you striking at? There, uh, you can see number five is damaged, or there is one that is severely damaged. This right here. Um, so Michael C. Uh, that uh, does say, let's all focus at one at a time. What? I, he was going to say that I'll earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Anything under 15 words is a free action. You guys oh, can, that's right. I forgot about yeah. that. Can I have some of that? Yeah. And some of this. <laughs> you got the munchies. <laughs> I, I'm hungry, yeah. When do you go, Morphin? Where is Morphin? When do you go? Not on the sheet. Not Morphin, on the what'd sheet. you get for initiative? He got 12, I think. I should be at 12, too. So okay. he should have got, yeah. he should have went, uh, he should go on this turn yeah. here. Yeah. Let me s try to fix that crap. Sorry. So, I thought I had him on here. How, we're we're with Lightfoot. What? How many are out there? There are five targets. Okay. Um, two of them are damaged. All right? One of them is severely damaged by fire. And the other one is lightly damaged, and there's three others that appear not damaged at all. And Michael said, let's take out one at a time? Yeah, he said we should concentrate fire on one at a time to, to get rid of them. How many attacks are more? All right, so I'll take take a shot at the one that's, that's heavily damaged. Okay, roll the strike. <laughs> that's nice. Holy shit. <laughs> that's funny. 
I forgot how many sixes is that. It is uh, 66, and you do max damage with your nat 20 and double damage. Oh. Mm -hmm. So number five takes 72 points of damage and explodes in a gout um, and does um, 2d6 damage to a 10 foot area around him. Nice. <laughs> um, completely melting and destroying the snow underneath him, allowing some of the undead under the under the ice to start popping up. Slow it up. So that is Lightfoot's kill. <laughs> Who are we at? Who is next on the 12? Um, you got Morphin first. Morphin, your action. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be on the, per the first floor. Okay. Did, did you, you said that there were like skeletons that we could see, or is that <laughs> There are. So, on the first floor, there was bodies in the building that were frozen dead, too. And in the ice all around the building, as you. About four seconds ago, they started moving. Oh, gross. Uh oh. There's a necromancer around. <coughs> Must be. <laughs> They're everywhere. Necromancers are everywhere. <laughs> well, say this is gonna be. I thought it was like the villagers or Morphin. The coalition on the in the ice. Mm-hmm. Well, everything within a three hundred and thirty foot area of Raylakin starts moving. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. What? So we're in we're trouble now. Not really. This is, this is normal stuff for me. I'm used to this. Oh, yeah. So what are you doing? It's all fine. It's all fine. I think I'm going to head down uh, to the circle, the, the circle of power. Okay. And, uh, so you've been heading over to the circle of power. You got your weapon out or anything, or yeah. spell ready to go? Spam. I'm. Uh, I have. I'm gonna be spamming turn undead spell. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't want to be attacked by zombies. Right. <laughs> so you start trying to turn some of the undead out of your running. Oh, yeah. No. Um, they get a dodge save from that. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Who's next? Um, let's see. Um, that would be James. James or Carter as his spotter. I have a target. Yeah. And firing. He gets a plus three. Uh, plus one for Carter. Plus one for Carter? Yep. As per your... Right? Yeah, plus three for the rifle. He is taking a... Sh this guy's down. He is taking a shot. Actually, he can't see that guy. He's not in a direct line fire. But that guy and that guy is. He's going to fire at this guy. He He's making a called shot for its head. With one of the rounds that Michael Sia gave him. He only has two of those left. Yes. And now he has one left. He got a plus three. So he has a 12. Plus 4. Plus total. 4. He has a 13 to strike, which still does not hit the head. It hits the chest. The creature does get an auto dodge. Fuck me. Gatsback <laughs> beat oh. a big poopy poop poop. He fucking auto dodges out of the way oh. with a nat 20. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> this fucking dies. <laughs> Jesus. It's not even a player killer. It's just a fucking unsanctified dice. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the last uh, person, <laughs> on, or last 
last two people on 12 will be uh, Rowan and John Wilson. Okay, Rowan and John Wilson. going to do uh, Globe of Daylight, which is Lumos. Lumos! Um, Globe of Daylight comes up. Widen up the area, for those of you who cannot see that well. The Noctar seem unaffected <coughs> by it. And now we can see better. Or worse. You don't know. Yeah. You're probably... Um. However... That does affect your vision. That's what I thought. Uh, did it affect me uh, for her yep. stuff? Okay, that's what I need to know. Um, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. So it probably affects them too. I would imagine. Yeah. More likely. Oh. Wilson. Am I there? You are at the building. You're at the back entrance. <laughs> Unfortunately. You can... Oh. So you did Lumos. Yeah. You set her down because the bus is parked so close to that back door that you have to literally squeeze in between the wall and the bus in order to what? go back that way. Screw you, Nazareth! <laughs> you set her down? Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to... Like... You could jump through a window, though. Oh, I do that. Okay, you jump through a window and you take up a <clears throat> position? Yeah. Wait. Okay. But you put me down first, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you are inside the building at a window on ground floor. You are right here. Um, these creatures have gone up. I do need to roll a 20-sided die. And a 20-sided die. And a 20-sided die. And a 20-sided die. Um... <clears throat> they are staying out of the 30 foot or 6 foot. Here's your radius. They are staying right out of the radius of the light. Oh, so it does affect them. Maybe. <laughs> it didn't appear instantly, but as they were running up, you do see that they are boarding the radius of the light. Okay. Well, that means I'm not in the radius either. Right. That's a good thing. It's still bright, though. Oh, yeah. Well, it, yeah. I'll, it still screws my vision up. But the radius of, like, where it illuminates yeah. is what they don't want to go in. That's all right. I'm sitting out here going, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, here, little nectar. So, whose turn is it next? Um, all right. That would be initiative 11. Correct. Uh huh. Um, that would be a uh, relican and Maxia. Oh, sorry. Noctar number two gets to go, and Noctar number five gets to go. So he's dead as fuck. On twelve, right? On number five is dead. He was good yep. on twelve. Yeah, five is dead. I killed him. Um, number two, however, fires directly across from this building to to this building. And I think that is Steen in the window there. Yes. Oh, 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 he's firing at me, huh? Yes. Fucker. With a 14 total. Oh, oh I'm going to auto die. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> not yet, buddy. No, I'm not going to dodge. <clears throat> you dodge. You try to dodge or you try to... Um, yes. Okay. Roll. Eleven, no. Hit two. Eight points of damage. <laughs> and we're on initiative eleven now. Michael Sia and Relican. Relican. <laughs> Michael Sia sees number two attack Scott and readjusts his weapon. And fired. With a 14 <coughs> total. Oh, sorry, 15. No. 5 plus 8. 13. Uh, the creature gets a 9 to dodge and fails. Okay. 
Take it in. <coughs> nope, not max damage. Oh, 70 points of damage. Ouch. As it lights up in fire. Again, it starts burning the layers off of it. And next is initiative 10, right? Jolene? Yes. The Jolene, oh. Rowan, and Steen. Jolene, Rowan, and Steen. Hey! What are you doing, Jolene? Um, I know the doctor's in the window, but I'm going to ask him what we can see out that window to see if I can do a firebolt. You don't look out the window and do it yourself? <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I'll push him out of the way and look out the window. The window's big enough for you both to look. There's actually two windows side by side. And oh, okay. You saw him just, uh, he, did you just get hit? Yeah. yeah. He got hit by he got something. Hit. And you look out and you see what looks like a flaming Noctar Reaper. Is He's on fire, burning. Uh, but it's still alive. And you can yeah, I'm gonna try and shoot a firebolt at him. Roll a strike. What? Have you learned? Sixteen anything? to strike. Okay, so you fire your firebolt out the window at the creature. Um, it is a new action, so he can auto dodge. What'd you get to strike? Sixteen. Sixteen. So it's minus two. No bomb. Okay, so you hit him. Yay! Okay. Roll yourself. Uh, you can roll percentile dice for max damage. You gotta get 65 or under, or you can just roll your 4d6. I rolled the 4d6 and I got 15 mega damage. How much? 15. 15? Uh-huh. Okay, the creature lights on fire. So that's Michael Sia and then Jolene. Hit him. All right. Next is on initiative 10. No, no, my turn. Steam. Steam. Yeah, Steam still. Oh, we're buddies now. Ooh, what was nice. Steam on? Ten, right? Oh. Yeah, it was oh, Jolene, Rowan, and yeah. Rowan Steam. Yeah, Mr. Steam, what are you doing? Roll 22 to hit. Uh, which one? My the doctor, let's go the same? I'm, I'm shooting at the guy that shot at me. He doesn't get an auto dodge for that round because no. he already dodged an attack and you hit him. Yep. Yes, I did. He's getting a maximum of uh, six die six. Twenty one. Twenty one point zero. Yeah, that guy's fucked up. Well, yeah, he is. He actually looks like he's half damage. Yeah. And then, Rowan, you see this flaming candle over here? Mm -hmm. This guy is over here, and he was firing up into here. Two of these guys have broken off and going that way. I'll take out oh, the no. closest of the two guys. This going. guy? No. Uh, the first guy in front. So you're going to draw his attention to you. Oh, that's right. They're doing that. Oh, God. Okay. Um, you know that you are the only one out here. Outside. Oh. Of the building. Oh, the outside. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll crawl through the window. <laughs> Still pretty yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. So okay. you roll the percentile dice. Basically a climb. That's what I would have done. And climb to the window. That's what you did? Oh, no. Uh, Jisha, do you help her through? Yeah. Never mind, you don't have to roll. You can just roll and work oh, the skill. Thank God. Okay. And the juicer actually. You, like, slip on some rubble or some ice. And the juicer just grabs you and pulls you through. Thanks. What? I just, I had it. No, you didn't, dude. You're right here. I did. I saw it. Anybody else on 10? No. Um, Number no. three. Number three takes a shot at Nukem. Cool. The drugs. The drugs. Drugs. Um, I'm going to try dodge. Who <laughs> does? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. 
Yeah. 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 It has a, so you got a 12 to dodge, but you still dodge. Oh, okay. Because it's minus four. It's, it's no bonuses, and then minus yeah. their um, attack. Their, their, sorry, bleeding bonus, which they have a minus four to your roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. So you move it out of the way just enough to not get hit by the Noctar Blast. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Um, and... Who's next? Anybody else on 10? No. Doesn't look like anybody else is on 10. We're going to do nine first actions. It looks like... Uh, no, no, nobody. Not ten. Nobody first actions? Nope. Okay, so we'll start from the top. <coughs> nuke them and work our way down. Um, well, I have my uh, player in one hand and my rifle in the other. Okay. Uh, I am still... Taunting these dudes. Those two are coming towards you. Um, let's see now. How long can I hold an action? Three seconds. Three seconds. They'll be on top of you. In three seconds. Mm hmm. So, three seconds, that means three kicks. Three kicks? They're moving at about 40 feet per tick. So, that would put it on initiative six. But they'll be on you. On you. They're, they're probably only maybe 70 feet away. It'll take them two to get to you. Well, they have to be in the circle. Well, I, for, I forgot. It's actually bigger than that because freaking uh, Ray can. Right, except her rays are going off this way because I thought your circle was actually right here. Oh, okay. So they're going off into oh, the melted okay. ice. That's, that's fine. Um, so if I hold it, yeah, okay. I, I don't have to hold it for three kicks, do I? No. <laughs> You can go um, next round. You should probably go next round because okay, two well, then, 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 I'm, then I'm going to hold my initiative till next round. Um, do you move this way a little yep. bit? Because I need to get the, I need to get between yeah. the circle between me and them. So when they step into it, I can mm -hmm. do my hoo doo. Okay. Who's next? Uh, Mofrin. Mofrin, your action. You are. Basically, right next to uh, Nukem. Okay. You see, th these two I creatures are coming towards you, guys. Okay, I am going to cast Constrain Me on one of them. I'd probably say the one on the right. The one on the right? Constrain Bean, is there a saving throw for that? Uh, standard. Standard? Yeah. Well,. Since you guys, since I've rolled so many nat 20s and I just rolled another one, I'm going to re-roll just because Thanks. I want to be nice. <laughs> you oh my nice god. Device? It's fucking blue dice. It's a random dude I took out of this drawer this morning. A one. I mean, I need to hide them for the <laughs> next one. one. So constrained being, so this guy right here yep. um, is held down. You have stopped him okay. in his tracks. All that does I... is... Stop it from moving. So it, I can actually, uh, according to the description, I can use uh, give them simple commands, but only commands such as go stop or back away. Can you not? So I had I can't tell them to back away. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. So there we go. So, so um, only commands. I can give them a command, but they're like really quick commands, like go stop, back away. So I'm gonna tell them to back away. Go back away. Go back away. He backs away. <laughs> one. I can hit a one. <laughs> it lasts for two minutes. Okay, It'll and he's just kind of hanging out there. Um, oh, good. Next is... James. Gene. Oh, Mofrin. Just to let you know, um, 
when you write down the spells that you use, actually put the name of the spell and what level it is, because you oh. get experience points per level of the spell. It's level times five XP. Oh, okay. okay. Um, just because I you you said you used four spells, I wasn't sure what level they were, so I only had put oh. down twenty points. Gotcha. So I can go you, back to my uh, other one. And yeah, that'd be cool. I'll, I'll go back in and correct it then. So he stopped. And you said, who's next? Uh, that'd be James. James. James um, takes a, a targeted attack at this guy right here. Yep, yep. Um, because he says, Rowan, I hope you're clear. I hope you're safe. And he fires into that creature. With a 16 to strike, the creature rolls a 9 to dodge and fails. Um... And he, James, no longer has any of those special rounds. Okay. Because now he had a, that one was an armor piercer with plasma in it, doing 20 points of armor piercing damage and 120 points of plasma as it, uh, it went into the creature and the creature explodes. So 20, yeah. He, he explodes and dies in one shot. James got a one shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. Nice. <laughs> Too bad he wasn't here to do it himself. <laughs> <laughs> he says, three's down. You ready? Um, next is Lightfoot. Lightfoot, what right are you doing? Right here. What are you doing? Can I aim it? Can I? Can I see anybody to shoot the plasma gun at? Uh, you yes. You, there's uh two people below you. Uh, one, uh, one, one of the creatures has backed away a little bit, um, but is Shoot's facing, and the other <laughs> one is approaching Nukem. And there's one that's burning like a Roman candle on a building. You can't quite see that one. But you have a okay. good drop on this guy here on the bottom, right, right below you guys. Yep. Shoot that one, he says. Okay. Um, you can use that, or you could use your magic, but whichever one. Actually, whichever. I was thinking about chain lightning, because then I could take out more than one at a time. Oh, you could. So yeah, let's do that. Okay. You. Uh, Use your crystal and you cast chain lightning upon the guy down there. Um, roll your damn. Oh. <laughs> oh god. 90. Oh no, that was my roll for casting the. No way. Unfortunately, he's constrained, so he doesn't dodge. What? He doesn't dodge. That's it was a net twenty. Right? That was that was thirty. I don't know what's wrong with this fucking die. Times two, right? Sixty. Yeah, isn't it a times two? Um. You are near a ley line, and it's actually times five right now. Oh my oh. god! But, I, but for this round, I don't want to use it because I would have to go back and adjust all of the Noctar's weapons also. Okay. Oh. oh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so is it 30 or 60? 30. 30. They say 60. Okay. Yeah. So is there another one in the chain I get to hit? Yes? Uh, yes. Uh, it jumps from that nine. one to the guy who is in the star. That's a 29. 29 points of damage to him, um, and it can't jump to anybody else. Okay. Aww. That's so, okay. That was good. <laughs> so that was number four and three. Oh, shit. Wait a minute here. Number two. Uh -oh. Who died? They're all dead. Oh, number one is over there. Sorry. Uh -oh. Number one. To number four. Took 29. Okay. And... Did I kill anybody? No, none of them died. Okay. Right. With the times five, it would have killed them. 
<laughs> Don Wilson is next. Don Wilson? But I thought Chain Lightning jumps from... One Only if you've got someone in, in line that's close enough. Yeah, if you have nine victims and you're level nine, it will go... Oh, okay. But yeah. if, if somebody's not from. close enough, it'll only go so far. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you want me to have it so it jumps back and forth of them, that will also happen to you guys if yeah. someone does Chain Lightning on you. Oh, okay. So... What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay with that? I'm not, but oh. that's just me. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> so we won't do that. We won't make it jump back and forth. All right. Um. Can I see them? Hmm. Can I see them? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah. One's just kind of standing there. Shoot him in the head. Go to strike. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, 17. You like. Just lean out the window and go. You just stick your gun out the window and fire, and you can have max damage. Because oh. okay. he's not dodging, he's just standing there. He kind of looks over at you. <laughs> Says, well, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck. Is this the one that tried to. <laughs> no, this is one that has constrained being on it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, oh. this is. <laughs> Number three was the one that actually jumped on you, but he's dead. Good. He got one-shotted. Good. What do you do? Uh, one second. So, 80. 80, 80 points of damage? Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, um, you actually blow its head off and kill it. All right. With 80 points of damage. Point blank. Oh, oh no. Shoot. Not 80? No, I put plus 6 on mine because I forgot to take it off. So what is it? Uh, 60. 60 points of damage. That doesn't kill it. No. But it has a lot less brain matter. <laughs> Yeah, um, you do blow off a huge chunk of its armor, and you burn into it in, into the side of its head. All right. Um, you, you think you see some brain matter or a secondary, like, skull. You're not sure. It's crazy. It's an octar. Yeah. You see a little human turn and look at you as he's driving you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. <laughs> Wait, so, did I see these when, with my mom? Mm hmm Oh, I did? We did not, sir, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. These creatures? Yeah. Because she was, became part of a cult? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, who's next? Uh, that would be everybody uh, player-wise on that initiative. Um, and that's number nine. Number nine. So, Should we have, Don Wilson just went. It looks like number four gets to go. And he is sitting in, in the circle there. And he's going to point blank you. <laughs> um, Actually, he's leaping to attack you. Okay, well. That's why I held my action until the next round. I know, I've been waiting. Oh, it's not the next round yet. <laughs> Still on the same round that I, I was on. Oh, that you were on? Yeah. Uh, I There's just that many know. people on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he leaps at you. Um, and I, Simo, Flair, oh. okay. would be the, the, the pretty words of, well... I believe you're Nakaris now. <laughs> Go ahead and um, wait a minute. Roll one. No, you you were on thirteen. Dude, no. We're on twelve. Um, dude, we're on initiative nine. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. on nine. We just went through. That's me, right. Mo Fran, James, Lightfoot, Carter is his spotter, oh, and yeah, then John right. Wilson, and then we. Okay. That was so you, nine. you didn't hold your action. You dropped it on there because he's on there. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I just drop it on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's signaling you. That means. Oh. <laughs> that's fine. I'm gonna give him a negative two there. Um, just because he steps into the circle, and the circle itself is uh, disorientated to him. So he rolls to strike. Um, actually, roll a roll a twenty-sided die. You can oh, use your strike bonuses. Um, this is just actually you can use your initiative bonuses yeah. because I'm trying to see whether he jumps first or the fire lights and and. Oh, my initiative bonus is a plus one, so I mean. So just roll a twenty. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. One. You just got to be a ten. Well, I got a natural twenty. So <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you drop that on him, <laughs> and you're like, you you say, well, you're in the cars now. And he disappears in a wisp of smoke. What? Yeah, because Nakara was like... And all you see is kind of a shade of Nakara where he was standing. Well, I couldn't get her stuffed unicorn. So I had to get her something. (laughs) That's fucking hilarious. Now I understand the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just see her uh, wisp of her as as, you, as she grab like grabs a hold of thing and, and bites the back of its neck and then it turns into this piece. It just evaporates in your in your fire. Good job. You one shot at him. Yeah. <laughs> so Nuka killed that guy. All right, so it looks like there's two left, um, and we're on initiative eight now, which looks like Michael Sia <coughs> and... What? I thought we were on six. No, no, we were I, on nine. Probably. It's Michael Sia and Rowan. So, Rowan, you may go. Um, I'm going to have to take a perception to see who's alive. Um, there's the guy who's still burning. <laughs> Oh, okay. And the guy who's just standing there after he got shot in the head. <laughs> like, his brain is exposed. And literally, you're almost nice. close enough you can freaking touch him out the window. Yeah, yeah, you could probably do that. You basically just saw John Cadavra. Wilson go like this. <laughs> He's st- um, I brought him to c- Cadavra. Okay. Don't do that. Well, a 20 sided die? I just want to see you for double damage. The boy who lives comes to die. <laughs> the boy who lives. What'd you get? Uh, I got a nine on the die. Okay, so that's a strike because it can't dodge. <laughs> <laughs> and damage? Um, you want to roll percentile dice for max? Yeah. Uh, anything under a 65? Okay. Actually, for that, it's under anything under 85 because you're within 10 feet of it. Okay. Uh, 51. All right, you do max damage. That's 66. 36 points of damage. To its fucking head. Spell. And you have plus four to strike. Okay. It actually dies with that. Yay! (laughs) So that is Rowan's kill. And. Who is next? Uh, there, nobody is player wise is next. Okay. Because all I eat different with it. Those two. It was a uh, Michael Sia and Rowan. Michael Sia has moved up to where James is, and giving James six more rounds. Cool. Here, buddy. You might need these. James up. Uh, hey. And on seven. Uh, Raylikin and Steam. Yay! <laughs> um, the Raylikin commands the uh, undead uh, who start coming out, and uh, they're surrounding this guy over here on the building, trying to eat him. <laughs> Steam. I'm going to take a shot at the dude over there that's on fire. All right. He's going to try to dodge. And I rolled a 12. <clears throat> he, okay. He has no bonuses. 
and your range. What's your range level? Oh, um, shit. I just I want to know the negatives. Uh, where's my you're like six or eight level range. I know you're high level range combat. Yeah. Oh, my level. Oh. Yeah, oh, not range yeah, combat yeah, level. It's eight. Okay. Uh, so he's negative four. You hit him. Yay. Yay. Here it comes. And I rolled 22 points. 22 points to number two. Uh, minus two. Minus 10. 12. He is still alive. <laughs> He's on fire. He's actually like was the toughest one out of them all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the fire is actually dying down around him. Um, the undead do um, 80 points of damage to this building Ooh. as they're, they're pulling pieces of the building off all around it. It has 250. When it when that happens, it, they'll, it'll collapse in, and then they'll be able to to oh. totally mob him. They're doing a, uh, um, a D10 times 10 damage per per melee because they're there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what are we on seven? Uh, yes, we were on seven. It was uh, Relican and Steen. Eight. Or six. Sorry. Six is uh, Mofrin, uh, James, uh, Rowan, and John Wilson. So, Mr. Mofrin, you get to go. Uh, the last creature is on fire on top of a building surrounded by a bunch of undead. Somebody blew the brains out of the creature you attacked. Or constrained. From this building, it's it's yeah. too it's too far. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to approach. I'm but approach. your turn undead works for the ones immediately around you. Um, you see a couple of them yeah. have turned that are under the ice have turned around and they're trying to um, go <laughs> deeper into the ground uh, that are underneath you and. Uh, a couple of them that crawled out are, are running away. They're going about 60 feet away from you. Well, now we know that Grailkin can't attack the boat. <laughs> <laughs> can't attack who with those? Uh, what? She can't. Oh, as, as soon as the turn on death stops, they can come back and yeah, attack. Eat all day. <laughs> and eat all day, yeah. yeah. Not that they were gonna eat him anyways. Um, he doesn't know it that. It says they, it says they'll leave the area and won't return for a whole day. So we won't have to worry about those underground undead for at least a day. <laughs> so do, do I notice him casting anything? You hear that over the radio? No, I, you don't have a radio. He says it out loud. You can hear no. him. Oh. oh yeah. So I can hear he, he's he's oh. Dude, that's the easiest way to piss off a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She raised so many with that three-round um, spell ritual that she, she really didn't matter. She's not really paying attention to the ones that have been turned so far. Okay. Um, who's after Mo for in there? Um, we are on six. We got James. Lightfoot, Rowan, and Wilson. We're going to let Lightfoot go, because James is an NPC. He'll go last. Yeah. Lightfoot. Is there only one left? Yep. He's burning on top of a building, and there's a bunch of undead around him. Okay. It might actually be cool to watch the undead eat him. Yeah. Yeah. I just figured if someone's undead, you. I'm going to use chain lightning. Okay. You do see that... The building oh. is starting to shake now because they've done another um, 
They, well, they only did 10 points of damage. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not shaking. And you use okay. chain lightning on that one? Are you going to waste yep. the whole chain lightning on that? Well, okay, how about a lightning bolt? That might be better. That, yeah. yeah. So you call down a lightning bolt from the sky on top of him. It's a D6 uh, per level. And it goes, kata! You can roll a 20-sided to see if it's a nat, a nat 20, though. I got a three for my roll of a 20. Oh, fuck, you missed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no. No, it's a, it, the spell is uh, they have to dodge with an 18 or higher. And let's see. No. He does not. <laughs> oh, he actually trips as you strike him with the lightning and falls into the undead after he's hit by the lightning. Yeah. So, damage? So I rolled 30 damage. Um, you, on the ley line at 60, is that right? Well, we, we were doing that, but if, if we double everything, then I'm going to have to double all the attacks that Octar did for this last round. Well, we'll do that at the 30 beginning. Fine. 30 is fine. So yeah. he takes 30 points of magical damage, and he's still okay, but now he's getting eaten by undead. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of love the undead. Um... So the, the undead all seem to realize that he's undead, probably because Raylakin is actually directing them. And they start just mobbing all around him and and ripping him to shreds. So he will take a D10 times 10 damage per second. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Damn. As the undead are eating the Noctar. They're like piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's next? Um, Rowan? Yeah. Rowan, Rowan and your Wilson. action. Yeah. Um, You're on the bottom. You you hear the massive oh, noise. Oh. And you can see other undead that were over here. They're all running over here. Those ones that were running away are running around the building uh -huh. to come over here. Um, the guy under the water, he's trying to crawl over there. But he can't because he's stuck. Right. <laughs> Um, I don't see any need to... You don't attack him? <laughs> You're no. just going to let the, the undead mouth is knocked our head yep. Okay. It takes... So 60, one second, two seconds, three seconds. It takes three seconds for them to completely um, eat every piece of a fleshable part of the thing's body. A couple of them disappear in an explosion of Noctar energy um, to, that goes off to the south. Just kind of wipes all the ones out there. But he is consumed by the undead. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so Raylikin got a kill. Hooray. I expect, I expect no less. I expect no less. I, I thought you'd at least finish him off. I was kind of interested in the point of watching him get eight by the dead at that point. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, the initiative's over, right? The initiative is over. All right. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> any undead that were in the area are in this mound of undead that have consumed this, that are consumed. They're even, there's, you still see a couple after a couple seconds, like, pieces of armor of the creature that they're trying to, like, eat the armor, but they just, they just can't. <laughs> what are you doing after? So, initiative is over, but, because Morphrin believes that the undead are horrible creatures, what are you doing, Morphrin? I'm gonna go approach them and cast again, turn undead to get them the heck out of here. Okay, as you get closer to them, and these are the ones that are directly in their under uh, Raylikin's control, they actually have a saving throw. Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, so you do that, and all the undead in that area stop what they're doing and turn towards you and look at you. You hear out of their voices, 
a chorus of Raylikin's um, voice. Nom, nom. And they start, they all take a step towards you. <laughs> Want to roll a horror factor? I'm sure he has a high horror factor um, save. Probably. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so but, I mean, there's literally a mob. Plus seven. Uh, plus seven, yeah. All I do is yell out, Ravikin, don't kill him. I'm going to bed. <laughs> what? I would right. never kill a party member, <laughs> all of the voices say. <laughs> 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 What'd you get for your save? Hold on, it's still rolling. Oh my god, this is a slow roll. Yeah. <laughs> and... I don't know why it's so slow. It does that sometimes. It's weird. Yeah, it's been doing that to me tonight, too. Uh, uh, Damn, it still hasn't Rest rolled. That salad. Yeah. What the hell? Poor thing, <laughs> It's a hard calculation. Yeah. <laughs> you rolled. Oh. I did. Oh. What'd you get? Seven, ten. <laughs> oh. really yeah, wild. you're um, you're fucking. This is the scariest thing you've ever seen, because you've saved versus all the other <laughs> things. But this, this is fucking horrid. As you see these things slowly start coming towards you. Oh, saying, num, 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 num. I would never kill a player killer. Well, it's huh? And they're in a chorus. As, yeah, they're, right? as they make it's a crescent moon right. around you. It's because it's fucked right up. Right up at the top is not it's horrifying. <laughs> they, and then she has them run towards you. Oh, <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> As this horde right, of right. I, they're running at you. Okay, there is a spell I'm gonna cast. I am gonna cast uh, time slip and get the hell out of here. Okay, so you cast <laughs> your time slip, which gives you two extra actions to move away. Yeah, and I'm just gonna book it. What's your speed? Good choice. My speed is not very good because I'm a no. <laughs> Can't be worse than seven. <laughs> no, it isn't. It, it is not. I think it's a, I just got you. A ten. A ten. So you so in that two those two actions you have which uh We'll say it's about six seconds. You move 60 feet. <laughs> nice. Raylican rolls a perception to see where you are. She's got a 22 total. And the zombies continue to chase you. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to chase Bad you zombies. until you tire out. Oh, oh no. zombies. <laughs> so... They're going to chase you until you tire control. out, and then they're going to each tap you on the back of the head <laughs> and run oh, off. Oh, no. <laughs> Counting coup? Yeah. Uh, I, I know she's not going to have him eat him because nope. he doesn't, he belongs to me. Right. 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 She just has them count, count coup on him. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not worried about it. That's why I said. That's why I said I was going to bed. But can she accidentally kill him? No, nope, they're they are just tapping him nope. on the head with a finger, <laughs> Count, counting that's two and well. then running off. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure, from what I understand of the whole thing, if if Ravenkin kills him even accidentally, there has to be restitution. Yes. Of some sort. Yep. Mm -hmm. She has to borrow. She has to pay me back. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I mean, yeah. From what I've read and what I've yeah. kind of gathered. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm learning. Yeah. She knows what you're doing. I mean, That's why I thought maybe she would do So to her, accident. like, if they kill him, she'll pay restitution. Yeah. She doesn't care. <laughs> like, he's a slave. Yeah. <laughs> her, 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 what, so do you, what do you, what do you want, like, Mr. Steen, if they happen to trample him to death? <laughs> she actually comes down here to talk to you, to negotiate with oh. you before they before they do this, why they're chasing him so he's running ragged, like <laughs> We so love Raylikin. <laughs> um What would you like? <laughs> well <laughs> I mean I could find I, you another one. Oh no, no, you can't. <laughs> There's there's not another one like him. But there's but, others. I can, oh, I've got shinies on my face. I can but find you five. A, five. But not like him. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do for you? If he dies, I can raise him from the dead for you. <laughs> oh, my God. No. No? No. What no. would you want? Well, let's see. They're dumb undead. They might accidentally hurt him. <laughs> Well, let's, let's hope not. He's got a lot to learn. Yeah. Yeah, but not if he's dead. I, I, well, I actually think that your that you're, um, you're undead are, are teaching him one of the mm-hmm. lessons. Yeah, it's possible. It is. But I'm just saying in case. Like, they accidentally, like, what if they're chasing him and he falls into a pit of tigers? <laughs> Like, well, or a, a bungee trap, or a, the the, uh, the odds of that happening are so small. But but, or he runs off into the cold and freezes to death. Well, that that could happen. Yeah, that he could die of hypothermia. Okay. Well, if he does get out there and he freezes to death, then then we'll talk about it. Okay, uh, but if if he does get out there and he starts to freeze to death, I'll just have all my undead get all around him, and their decomposing warmth will keep him warm. <laughs> That's true. Yes. That's true. Yeah, you know, that would be, that would be fine. Decomposing <laughs> warmth. That would be fine. Uh, but it might attract some unholy, like, demon flies and maggots that might eat him. So, I mean, I mean, what do you want in case he dies? Oh. Yeah, just give me off chance that he... You know, what if he slips off a cliff and breaks his neck? Oh, yeah. yeah like, there's always too. those factors. Because he is okay. running towards those tracks. He's going to run on that slippery ice, and he's going to crack his head on the skull. All right. Okay. And, and then uh, they're going to eat his brains, because they cannot, they just cannot resist that. All right. So that means he won't be able to learn his lessons. So then you'll have to compensate me for him. And the the loss of the opportunity to teach. So we're looking at at least two slaves. Two slaves? At least two. Female. Oh, oh yeah, no problem. I will get you two okay. female slaves. Because it's all about all right. teaching experience. But, but, but only if he dies a mysterious death. Oh. A mysterious death, like, like he disappears and nobody ever sees him again. No, no, not like that. No. Oh, like he's <sighs> eaten by a pack of rat. Oh wait, that vampire that's out there. <sighs> Shit, we better tell him about that vampire. We we better bring. We hey, better have your. Hey, don't turn run back. to the west. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of a sudden you hear because you are actually running to the southwest. You actually hear from the mob of undead. Hey, don't run from the west. Or to the west. Is this a magic that uh, he's using? Is this something that I might be able to like identify? Um, somebody is controlling these things and talking through them. Yes. That's a good point. I'd be able to turn my uh, power. And it sounds like Raylikin the fairy. Okay. She says, as you run to your hover cycle, she says, hey, 
That is Dr. Asclepius's hover cycle. <laughs> That's right. It is. Oh, my God. It is. And the slave, he has no property. Right. <laughs> he, he hasn't got permission to ride it. <laughs> It's all right. We just had to teach him the ways. Um, after you severely have, you you basically get tired because your physical endurance runs down. Yeah. Like they'll chase you all day, and they don't tire. Nope. Um, as you tire, they do each just tap you on the head, and then run off, and then then they run off in various directions. Some of them just tap you on the head and they just become lifeless again. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll head out and uh, re retrieve my... my uh, Do you want me lady. to bring him back to you? Oh, no, no. I'll, I'll go get him. So you follow the, the horde of undead. And it goes to where the bike is, but then he goes past the bike goes around another building and down through some hovels um, that the undead have completely tra uh, trampled. And then you find him, um, he's uh, fallen um, down in the snow where it's gotten about six feet deep. And he's, he's, just, he's just worn out. And you see a bunch of frozen undead around him. Um, and then you see a couple like trying to Crawl up next to him to spoon. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, I've got this. I've got this. So, um, you, friend, more friend. One of them's rubbing his uh, hair and saying, you're, you're so soft. You're so soft. That in itself is just creepy. <laughs> have, you, have you, what have you learned? This female undead is trying to pucker up to kiss you on the mouth. You see some maggots like crawling out of her out of her mouth. Just give me a good kiss and we'll just call it bygones being bygones. Pucker up. Dr. Asclepius, you, you ordered him to give her a kiss on the mouth. The tongue just reaches in and maggots like fall out into your mouth, causing you to, to retch and hurl as, this, as she just kisses you deeply. Oh my God, the tears in my eyes. And then, and then, and then, and then, the Raelican turns and looks at you, looks at Dr. Sclepius and says, I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, what did you do? <laughs> okay. Well, I think I've, I, I think someone has learned something today. I don't know, has he learned anything? The undead <laughs> gets up and, and extends her hand to you, Morphin. <laughs> and, and helps you up. And then dusts you off. <laughs> and dusts you off the back and makes sure that 
undead grabs your ass real nicely, real firmly. <laughs> it fills you up and sends you ah. my way. Oh my god, the tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well. Trial by fire. You. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we'll uh, we'll get back to the um, the hotel and make you something to eat. I don't think I. Oh, I oh, oh, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> Each of those maggots were worth a, a meal in itself. Oh, well, that's gross. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you guys uh, return to the hotel, to the warmth of the hotel, where the group has er, has regathered. Wilson. Um, Wilson. He's uh, sitting in the corner crying, thinking about his mother now. Okay. Dad's going to need some therapy. Yeah. Emotional damage. The undead creature comes and 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 lay and sits next to you. It's okay. <laughs> it's me. It's, it's me. I know. I know it's what you. Just go away. You're okay, buddy. Oh. Yes, I'm gonna hug you. It's it's bare breast that has the the skin torn off Are of it. Fairies naked? Pushes up against your. No. You're so chips. are the undead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she's consoling you. You smell like cheese. You smell like cheese. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. What are you guys doing now? Regroup. You well, regroup. Uh, anybody injured? Um, yeah. No. Some of us are, aren't they? I took a lot of, oh, lot of Or is it armor. just armor? I, I think the armor. juicer only took some pass-through damage, but by now it, he's healed. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, he also took... And I, and I healed three. Yeah, healed you three took damage. emotional damage. Yeah. What's that, Scott? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm just telling her I healed. I, 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 I've got ways of healing. Oh. You've got ways of healing. <laughs> oh, okay. You've got a jar of leeches. <laughs> right. A jar of leeches. A jar of leeches. A jar of leeches. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hurt at all. Um, That's good. Raylican goes and sits on push? her uh, undead corpse thing and, and you see her she's eating some of the, the maggots off of it. That's mm. not normal. These are tasty. You want some? Nope. Brother of the moon? No sir. Ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am. Ma Dr. Asclepius, might, might I uh, repay this kindness that uh, Ray Lincoln has given me? Stowed upon you? Yes. Re repay? Well, repay it how? Well, I, I, uh, I'd imagine that uh, she would also like to stay warm tonight. No, oh. I, I, I think, I think you're good. <laughs> Very well. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll cuddle with you tonight. Oh. Can I, oh, can you I are... cuddle with your, your, your slave? This. That's like putting a rancid sock under your pillow. Yep. <laughs> oh my. Um, no, I, I think he's. I think he's had enough tonight. I'll give you a hundred credits. A <laughs> hundred? <laughs> yeah. Make it a hundred and twenty, and and he's yours for the night. Yes. Here you go. I think I am getting so oh, out. <laughs> oh, she flies credits. over into oh, Nico's pocket. <laughs> Takes out the cred chip of the group and goes and transfers 120 credits to her. And then flies back and puts it in there. Hi. Is it a full 
Come here, my love! <laughs> she goes and she jumps into the eye of the corpse. Oh, no. <laughs> and the corpse oh, no. comes back alive, and it goes over and starts cuddling you, Margaret. Hi. Now I'm human size, so uh, you're going to have to work that 120 credits off. <laughs> okay, I'm totally confused right now on what's going on. <laughs> well, oh. Oh. do I want to know what's happening right now? No. Not probably no. not, really. <laughs> No, honestly. Watch out for sounding. <laughs> that hurts and my soul. What is sounding? Oh, uh, oh. I'm going to tell you something yeah. that has made grown Look people cry. Google it. Google it. Okay. Google, Google. Google it. Google. And it's not ship sounding. And you, know, you probably okay. just make sure you don't too. do it on a work computer. And if you do, you make sure it's incognito. No. Okay. Just saying. So we thought you were a Carolina. That's so when she is over here. Sounded. What? Oh, that's right. Over that's over right. What do you mean? <laughs> um, that was her first husband. Yeah, that's her husband. Oh, okay. No, we got to free him, but she's. Okay. You know, she. She got nasty needs. <laughs> she got nasty needs. <laughs> she got nasty needs. <laughs> 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 I mean, well, 120 credits is a good deal. I mean, that's a problem. Have you guys looked up what sounding actually means on Google? Uh, oh, yeah. That's why we had you look it up. <laughs> that sounds painful. <laughs> it is painful. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what it was. Is the doctor reading the same thing I'm reading? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people oh, yeah. do that shit. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Okay, um, I'm Maybe. not a favor for sounding. <coughs> but I it am, sound, I am a pro sound sounder, pleasant. and um, okay. I oh. have, I have a toolkit in the car. That just makes me, oh, oh. Morphin, you might want to just cry now. Just get it all out. Uh, oh, wait, don't cry yet. Let me get something, a jar of holding in order she cast jar of holding. His first tears. So I can collect those. <laughs> Hold that up to your eye while this happens, okay? Come on, Hoosier. Yeah, no, I, I think he's going to uh, cast energy build and, and fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> and fade to black? <laughs> no one will know what happens. So no one can talk about it. <laughs> She's like, we have all night. That energy field will only last so long. Twenty credits. Twenty credits. Two minutes is all you've got. Yeah. And I can put my arms around the energy field. Well, you might have to give him some energy because he's used up so much of his own. Oh no. I'm going to take the last bit. <laughs> oh, I still have plenty. Of, I, I still have energy. If you remember where... She's like, awesome! <laughs> we can go all night then! <laughs> I forgot it was a late line. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Right. Hey, hey, Morphin, as she's caressing you, <laughs> your head, she said, the energy field at least, she said, if you're lucky... And if I make a really good roll, <laughs> it this body might feel wet. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> now we've degenerated to something else. Yeah. <laughs> All righty then. It's time to go. Rayleigh from the bar. Time to go to bed. <laughs> so you seem to be in good hands. <laughs> With that, you guys um, hear the soft cries throughout the night of Morphin as Raylikin continues to molest him through the night with this corpse.
says, I can't wait until a full moon and I become a human sized person myself. That's actually a thing? Yeah. Yeah, in the light of the moon? It's going to be awesome. And then you'll actually get sick to see my body. And guess what? I get wet. Uh, <laughs> can I, can I, can I uh, roll for this? Roll for what? Let's see, let's see how effective I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, you may. You... you, you, you Roll percentile dice on how well you perform. Because oh, so neurologically oh. she is hooked up oh, to this to this undead body. Like she's in its brain and, and her nervous system is connected to it. So how well does does he How perform? well do you perform? What'd you get on D20? A 10. A 10? So that would be, it. that's a 50%. It's not great. Let's see what the uh, percentile Yes, let's, let's see what the percentile <laughs> Do you have seduction by any chance? Uh, actually, I, I, I no longer get a penalty to it, but no, I don't. Or performance. Wrong kind of performance, but... Oh, there we go. Fake it till you make it. Oh, I'm just average. You missed it by 1%. Just average. You know, she's not oh. thoroughly impressed, but she says, you know what? Sometimes it's okay. Erectile dysfunction is, you know, it can be cured. We can get a pee shot or some other things. We'll try to, we'll try to get that to work throughout the nights. Oh, that's good. Anyway, and sometimes, 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 my love, like, you know, I mean, this body has dulled its, its sensation. So, like, you know, when I turn in the full moon to my full self, it might be better. It might feel better, but it's kind of numb. It, this body's a little rotted. I didn't choose the best <laughs> subject. But, you know, I mean, out of the, the, the people, this was the best woman subject. Like, I could have picked the man. Um, and I I don't think, I mean, I, I don't know if you're into that. But tomorrow night, if you'd like, I, there's a fresher man body out there that I can I can jump into. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly okay. This was a great time. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, now, <laughs> she's going to roll for her performance. <coughs> Thirty-three oh, percent. Good lord! No. Look at that. So, Morphin. I'm in love. I have a new fetish. You do. So yes. So thirty-three is the number of Natosa, which is the, is one of the best rolls of the game you can actually get now. Um, so she um, she rocked your world like the best you've ever had or ever will have. So she, <laughs> with that corpse. Let's oh move on. Oh, my God. Let's <laughs> move on. Nazareth walks in the room drenched in sweat, asking for water. Do you want to wear, like, a... <laughs> you, guys see a you guys see a seven-foot man come in. His dong is just hanging out, and he's asking for water. <laughs> I need water. He's asking for what? Water. 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 Give me water. <laughs> Oh, Nazareth, yeah. it smells like, like sex and death in here. Well, shoo, if you want to, come down here, come on, come here, follow me, come on, let's go. Who do you talk to? Talking to them. <laughs> to, to Morphrin and, yeah. and Raylican? Yeah, come join us, come on. What? Come on, come join us. I paid for him tonight, and, and we are only half done. You can get a lot more for what you paid for. Oh, no, it's what I paid for his experience. Oh, 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 shoot. Do you have water? 
Um, yeah. Here. Um, she gets up. I think I do. She, the, the, the undead creature reaches in through her bladder. <laughs> uh, pulls her bladder out. And there's this weird, sloshy, thick, nope. liquid. La, la, la. No. Oh, sorry, I'm done. Yeah, Would you like some of the manga? Uh, no. Oh. No. Oh. Well, oh. I'm going to have to reattach this then and save it for more friends. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this gets nasty. Okay. <laughs> we got to stop this now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is boring. When you jump into the manga field. <laughs> so. The science says, Thank you, we love you for <laughs> Just a smidge. We got to. So that's at. Um, what is our timer at? 5.32. Uh, we got to mark that and, and put. <laughs> and I'm going to put that comment. <laughs> <laughs> And highlight it. <laughs> oh. Renew, renew appreciation for necrotic flesh. <laughs> oh, oh man. Now, oh. well, hey, we definitely now, didn't make any further to our goal. <laughs> now I understand. Now All I right. understand how everyone got this way. <laughs> right. Why yep. everybody's yep. evil and yep. fucked up? Because the GM's yep. fucked up. No, 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 no. <laughs> it just ran the kid. Yeah. <laughs> when, whenever most shit goes wrong, it's I right. always just go Ray the kid. It's Ray the kid. Ray the kid's not evil. <laughs> okay. No, she's good. <laughs> it being evil. Apparently, she was good at something. <laughs> she's good uh, with a thirty-three. Evil. Uh, you'd be surprised. All right. So what? Um. We can continue? Yeah. I'm wide awake. awake. It's, it's almost one. So, yeah. where is everybody to bed. at in, right now? Do we want to go till one? or? I think we call here, man. I need, to, I need to get some food in. I have to go sleep tonight. All right. You guys want to call the game? Beat. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. we'll, we'll say that we all... Um, you guys spend the night and you get ready and in the morning you guys are packed and on the road to uh, at least the next stop closer. Okay. Um, you guys do recall that there was a uh, an airport uh, a, um, tower mm -hmm. that you saw off in the distance when the car had gotten stuck. Do you think it's five to ten miles away or it's at at least a halfway between you and the mountain? Um, All right. And that's where we will sh uh, leave off for the night. Thank you for joining us, everybody who has tuned in. And if you are watching the end of this, you have to go back to about mm, 5.32, around 5, mm -hmm. hour 5.20. And just watch that part, the, the wonderful love story between Raylikin and Morphe. Um, <laughs> So, um, yes, goodbye for the night. We'll see you next time, next week uh, at Thursday uh, around, around uh, 7 p.m. <laughs>